live. Yes. Should we live for you, Yep. I was just waiting for it actually to go live. Alright. Oh, gotcha. Excuse me. Welcome back to uh, episode insert number here of Sea of Sorrows. Uh, last time we joined as party, we uh, they were out running a iron lich that they awoke after stealing a power supply. After nearly crashing a spell jammer that lost its captain, and of course the captain here did not pilot a spell jammer and nearly landed. They found themselves in a massive battlefield known as the Breach, surrounded by living, undead, and all manner of mechanical nightmares, clashing in trench warfare. So that's where we pick back up, as they had moved through a number of trenches, avoiding the enemy lines for the most part. So we need some dark music. Let's see, what's a, what's a good one here? Huh? I guess that's good enough. And I think you guys had stopped to rest for the night. Here in this little burned out shack. I suppose we will take turns watch since we're in the middle of a war field. I hope none of you are like sleepers. Look at Zamar, I know you're not. <laughs> Me already in the corner, like making my, you know, my bread. This war is vastly different from what I have experienced in the siege of Greyhawk. Yes, that, that was just a siege, lad. This, this is true war. It is missing the dragons and the demons, but... Oh, I apologize for the giant mechane not good enough for you. As I was going to continue saying, it is a vast difference as in the mechanical machine beings, as you would call them, the Warforge, were almost non-existent in my years of old. Very rare. Oh, we're up to it. Very Great good. Start. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, 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 we just hear we just hear the cla the clapping of the uh, of the feet against all the uh, debris. God, this is why I hate war zones. Honestly, weirdly enough, you're pretty sure nothing heard you. Weirdly enough, mostly because the sound of you know shit dying and exploding. Everything else is much louder in comparison. Yeah. Oh, there's artillery going off. Uh, Elliot then just continues. If we were to make the comparison again, the war or the siege that I am familiar with is, I believe the term is low tech. Do we have to worry about this place being, as he's kind of pointing to where they're at? being bombed or anything, or is it already yes. shelled out? Great. <sighs> Any particular sound we should be worried about if we hear it? Since loud be... whistling. <clears throat> or very well, loud Mark... stomping. Well, yeah, Mark... That too. I am confused by the loud whistling, but I am familiar with the loud stomping. I mean, Zamar does that every time he sleeps. That count? No, it's a. It starts off as a distant humming sound, and then it turns into a wild whistle. Then you don't exist anymore. What if, is that some sort Wait. of spell? 
no, that's his artillery. <laughs> He'll point at like a crane that just hear one. one like that. This <laughs> <laughs> it's overhead, and you just hear it, go, you know, get quiet and then loud, and then quiet again before a loud detonation. These are one. vastly different from the cannons that I am familiar with. I it's think like I'm just calling magic. But extremely far away. Well, at least they're not shooting the rail guns yet. Why would a gun have a rail in it? Uh, do you want to explain Deckham or should I? <laughs> <laughs> so, just on table, Elliot's world is not that advanced on that sort of tech. Oh, we're aware. Oh, and, I, yeah, and I also come from a, a solitary monastery. I have no idea. I think <laughs> yeah, the, not these are like the two people that have like the highest tech experience. So. If I'm not mistaken, uh, some of the advanced tech is almost unknown, or rather in very dangerous cities that... Or I mean, a law, kind of a lost city, where if you go in there, you're pretty much a dead man if you're not someone like Elmester or one of the powerful wizards. City of Gods. I'm assuming the City of Gods is just like a modern day era with like a lot of modern tech. Yeah. That's why I kind of figured. Hence why uh, Elliot is very, uh, I guess one could say, in awe of the new modern tech out here. <sighs> well, we should fair. be relatively fine. We're behind at least one of the lines, and as long as these people begin to win. Should be all right. All right. Let's make bed here. I don't really see another place to sit, so. I mean, there's that rubble pile over there. She points outside, where probably like you see like dirt just getting kicked up. <sighs> God, I hate this place. So, shall I take first watch? Take turns keeping an eye out for this. Probably be for the best, at least for the time being. Ellie is going to. How high are the walls here, or how sturdy the walls? I should ask. Helps if I'm not muted for other people. Uh... <laughs> Walls are about eight to ten feet tall. Um, as far as sturdy, you're pretty sure some spots, if you leaned on them or a stiff breeze, would knock it over. Mm. All right. Others look like you know they've they've survived this and they'll survive far beyond this. Oh uh, yes, the walls that can survive casual shelling versus not. All right, so Elliot's gonna mostly just keep close to the edge here, keep his eye out, focus. Mostly in this direction, but you'll have your sword on the ready. And he'll look over to Zamar and Deckham's direction. I don't suppose one of you could keep an eye on the other pathway. Yes, I'll always be up for keeping an eye out through the night. This is what my programming is meant for. Are you okay, though? Constantly. I ask, since... Considering the Warforge and... Oddities out there, we may have encountered one of your kin. Is there also a chance that you could revert to your old programming and just go haywire? Possibly. Well, I haven't. Believe so. I, I, I would count that as unlikely. But we 
we have been informed that Warforged of my make and model have been seen on this battlefield. So, let us hope that we don't see them. Would they be able to detect you, though? Oh, yes, quite. And they'll also be able to detect that I'm a decommissioned unit and most likely they become hostile. That is worrisome. no use really thinking about too much and then we sleep for now and she just kind of leads back on like a smaller dilapidated piece of the wall Kelly will just go on a one kneeling position crouched but he's still keeping an eye on this direction and we'll focus on the uh, entryway out here All right, so first watch, I need some perceptions sure. and a D100. Okay. Perception. I'll roll it. <laughs> 80. Wait, roll what? Oh, I got 81. Jeez, crap, <laughs> boys. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, second watch. Oh, well, this kind of makes sense. I'm just kind of right, chilling. Alright, give me one second. I got second. Uh... Hiya! Well, that's better than nothing. And the D100. I got it. Uh... Wow, I've just been, like, splitting the middle with a lot of these. There you are. And is there a third watch? Yes. I'm just... Okay. I think that'd be like Deckham again because well Deckham doesn't need to so they it just has sentry bug. Uh and this sort of place is kinda of giving uh Elliot thoughts with the uh the capital Greyhawk, so kinda of makes sense. He kinda of just rolled right up and I guess we roll a D one hundred again or mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, go for it, Isaac. 83! <laughs> I'm almost consistent. I just need an 82. I'm going to point it out that a couple of times you do see oh. a pair like this move past, but uh, should they, see they, they do time? see you, but they don't seem to care. Should see one more time, I click too quickly. Big gun and priest. The, the little one seems to gibber some crazy stuff that you don't actually understand, and the giant undead holding whatever the fuck that is, you scares the shit out of you. Can you can you please describe it as Donnie from Meet the Thornberries? Shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he sounds like, right? Well, I'll give it I'll give it to Elliot. It sounds like a lo someone speaking in tongues sometimes. You're pretty sure some of it is probably chanting, but you're not sure. Elliot was just mumble under his breath. I'm almost compelled to call it a he then. What? Okay, okay, Hector. <laughs> Elliot, that word's banned in Gravencliff. Why is that? <laughs> <laughs> Get a full rest. Uh, who wants to roll me for the first stretch of the travel? I would assume Deckham because it's his area. He would know the most, probably. I'm gonna take up my lantern. Well, okay, then you can roll the D100 at advantage. Ooh, D100s. Got a 9 and a 66, oh fuck. 
I said with the devil. <laughs> no, only if you'd gotten a six in the 66, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your first hour of, tra or your first 10 kilometers of travel are fine. There are situations, but you find trenches, you find ways to hide things moving around, large areas of nothingness, just burnt trees and burnt landscape. Piles of dead bodies. And I forgot to add an effect to the other map. Just a moment. Where are my premium assets? Okay, so that should work. Yep, that'll work. Alright, so I need uh, somebody else who feels lucky to roll me the next set. Oh, but, uh... The lantern is, I believe. Uh... It stays. Oops, stuff to last the three hours, so you get one more usage out of it for the first use. Alright, so. so the D100? Yep, at advantage. Okay. Uh, uh, 72 and 84. There we go. I, I just realized I clicked some weird funny things all over the place. <laughs> Mine has got his fucking hotkey, so now it just combines them both. <laughs> Everything's fine so far, still. I believe that brings us to whoever wants to roll the next one. I got this. Easy. <laughs> Easy. I think he just rolled the one. Yeah, it would have been just the one. Oh, so no. we'll go with the first one, the 33. <laughs> well. <laughs> no worries. That's fine. We didn't roll like a 10. So we're fine. We didn't, we didn't roll the actual one yet, so... No, I've done that multiple times in this campaign, Mither. Don't put that shit on me. <laughs> That's why I'm uh, mumbling it, because it might be soon to get the hundred this time. <laughs> Let me see, where is that token? Roll me a d20. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Here you go, Dad. Here's my 20. Now please leave. <sighs> Alrighty. Since you rolled the natural 20 in the way that I was going, at one point you narrowly see this in the distance. Just lonesomely wandering. That looks like an undead thing of carnage. Take a closer look. <laughs> Deckham, do you kind of still walk when it's even when it's started to get hollowed out? <laughs> Some units were meant to take quite a bit of battle damage, yes. Well, that one looks like she got... They got three different holes punched through it. 
Do I know of anything of a sort that looks like that kind of unit? It kind of looks like an early model, but they also seemed a lot more lively. This one seems... Your type move irregularly because you're robotics. This is even moving a little odd, jittery for yours. Sure. If full force can become undead or not. But that one doesn't look right. Should I attempt to sense it with my abilities? It may become prudent, I guess. Very well. I will use divine sense then. Alright. Ping it. Uh, yes, just getting on to find me because I keep losing sight of it. There you are. Here, Being here. that this is the first time <laughs> using divine sense, it almost becomes overwhelming. You do realize that that is, of course, an undead of some kind. But you're sensing a lot of undeath around you. A lot. Let's see if I keep my, uh, myself steady. Okay. I just have, look like I have a bit of a, a headache. Maybe a little trickle of a nosebleed. Deck of this entire battlefield is drenched with undeath. Even I call me a perception. Oh. Wait, Elliot or Deckham? Elliot. Oh, okay. Can roll it at an advantage. Oh, no. <laughs> so you see a burned out tree near you. At first, you just thought it was a trick of the knots or something until you realize that part of that tree looks a lot like a person got stuck into it. And then you start noticing the twitching of the fingers that are possibly tree limbs. You're kind of confused for a moment suddenly. And then you start noticing in one of the trenches next to you that something in the wall is moving and a hand is slowly creeping out. I think we best get moving. Even the dead don't stay dead for very long at all. A matter of minutes before they're reanimated. <sighs> what happened to the... Oh, never mind. And he will point to the two things that he's starting to notice. But still keep his focus on the... Ah! Uh... Uh, well... On the particular individual. Well, even though it's walking towards you. Deckham? Yes? It's coming towards us. We should leave. Let's go then. I thought then. we already doing that. Yeah, let's I, go. Is it gonna follow behind us? They're, they're going. not. I would hope not. <sighs> Perhaps we can lead into the other battlefields, but let's get moving now. Yeah, maybe we can lead it into the range of one of those armed pairs. Yep, yeah, Elliot's already taking his move, but still uh, keeping an eye on that one that's following us. Can I insight if it's preparing to do anything hostile? It seems to be wandering. That I will give you right off the bat. Can I roll like I'm gonna incite it anyway because it might just try to be deceiving us. Okay. Well, can I roll like an investigation to see if it would have anything that would like set off any like alarm or some like some kind of something that would generate loud noise? Sure. Rather than deceiving us, I'm curious on its inner workings. There's, I go one end of the spectrum to the other tonight. I can't. 
You're pretty sure this thing could scream like Deckham. We definitely don't want to get near those things. They seem to be like how Deckham has sentry mode in a sense, but they'll yell a lot louder and start attracting things to our position. At this point, it has wandered five feet off the map, so... <laughs> okay. Okay. I thought it was wandering towards us. It did at first, and then... All right, so then... I was literally, that's what the D8s were, were rolling to see which random direction it goes in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, okay. But, yeah, from what I can tell, those things are essentially glorified sentry alarms. Actually, with your investigation, you're pretty sure that thing could probably eviscerate someone pretty easily if it got close enough. That too. And they also apparently looked like it was packing something very dangerous. So a bit of both. For yeah, Deckham, you know that they had... Deckham, you know that they were... Blades were attached to the arms. There are a lot of spikes and things too. Yes, they were the precursor to the Reaper unit. I do not know who this Reaper unit is, but... Have you heard of the Grim Reaper before? Yes. No. An avatar no, of that. death. That, but mass-produced. That is a horrifying thought to imagine. <sighs> so What's I need... Where you... Oh, go ahead. Was where you grew up just all war-based? Was there no peacetime whatsoever? Well, I was built for war, so, yeah. All right. There's, of course, peace times, but that's when we got decommissioned. And your time with Mistress K has been Quite pleasant. mostly peaceful in the area where you are. There is a war, but... <laughs> no, we don't talk about that. I suspect what Deckham is saying... They only brought him out when it was times of war. Until perhaps recently. Yes, there were times that I was decommissioned for decades at a time, and then, well, three centuries. I can't imagine that sort of existence simply sleeping. Cut off. In well, I don't know what it's like, but if it is like sleeping, I feel like it's more of a waking nightmare, if you don't mind me saying so. No, you are quite right. I was built for war. Uh, that's why they did not build us to have psyches, like, well, I do have. I like this version of you better. Elliot, let me ask this question. Did your monastery have a stove? Like a kitchen utensil? Yes, we also have a forge. Yes, just as in the forge is only used when metal needs to be shaped, I was only used when enemies needed to be murdered. Hmm. Similar to like that of Greybeard's unit. You probably have been around golems. Just in Greyhawk general, so I say, they probably you kind of understand golems. that concept in a weird way. Yeah, it's just the golems are pro that's probably the highest kind of magical tech that Elliot's been around. He never really dealt with gnomes. Yeah, and but I'm gonna say that like you can probably draw a little bit of parallel between how golems are used and how yeah. they were using Deco. Yeah. Uh, for Elliot's mindset, he probably just sees Deckham and other Warforges as not golems, but something different, more advanced. So. Yes. And that's uh, just on table. Right. <laughs> but, I don't know. But he'll just add... I don't wish to make a stereotypical commentary, but is it similar to like how the golems are? Uh, yes, quite. Huh. 
and Deckham, you know that the primary difference between a Warforged and a Golem is not just in the construction, but also in the berserk problems. <laughs> Warforged tend to go berserk quite a bit less. <laughs> Define less in a percentage. Well, have you seen me in my times of rage? Yes. yes, and you almost shot a shopkeeper. Or rather, not a hot, burning rage, but a cold, focused rage. Yes, quite. But still, I am in at least a bit of control of myself. When a golem loses its master, you know, the whole destroys towns thing. Well, it isn't just only losing the master, but sometimes... It's the single rune. Or hit by an something that actually hurts it, as in the bone golems that don't like fire, they go you know, berserk. In some ways, I'm glad Golemancy never really caught on in all this walk. Well, we only found out about the bone golems because Greybeard and I, along with a few others, were hunting a necromancer that was using bone golems as superior guardians along with its vast array of undead. <clears throat> I think that thing's gone now because it seemed to be wander off thankfully so probably should have right, going again. Moving. I, I, on table I thought we were still moving. <laughs> no, no, no. no. I, I was assuming we were like what? because we will then move the scene I was assuming we were waited with like bated breath kind of thing. The last person to roll. That would be me, yeah. <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> you really are going on the extreme, buddy. I hate my life. <laughs> Alright, what am I, else am I rolling, Google? A d20? Roll me a d20. Alright, either a nap 1 or 20. Let's go. Let's see what we're rolling with tonight. I'll take it, split down the middle. I guess. I need everybody to make me a wisdom save. Uh, okay. Just, just so you know, you all got a plus three because you're right by my aura. My worst rat. That. There it is. I hate tonight. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Gee, was I, can I just take your roll today? Uh, um, no, you know yeah. what? I'm gonna I'm gonna burn my inspiration to do a reroll. What you get for making fun of me for all of this? Everyone does. Fuck off. Yeah, I know. Everybody gets their day. Apparently, besides I... Jason. <laughs> Hold on. I, I haven't. I don't think I've ever had really bad luck. I'll <laughs> burn my inspiration as well because I don't want to fucking that one. I'll take that. So fifteen. I'm gonna move you guys back here uh -oh. to a trench so you understand. And did anybody get under an 18? Uh, that's uh, pretty all much of everyone. Us? All of us. Yeah. I know. The Deckham did not. Deckham is. 19. Actually, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you are immune to fear, you are not affected. Uh, yeah, uh, nope. Nine. Then I need you all to roll me a perception. Hold on, let me see. At advantage. Right. I'm seeing shit for sure. I don't, think, I don't think I got more of courage yet, do I? Nah, I'm good. You don't. God damn it. it. <laughs> so do I. I think we all do, yeah. holy shit. Elliot. Yeah, eighth level, okay, hold on. Advantage. Uh, <laughs> Elliot's kinda. <laughs> no. Nope. I don't what think the I do. Fuck? Oh, oh. Ah, I now understand why we're afraid. It makes sense Elliot. why Deckham isn't. <laughs> Elliot, you, uh, you've never had this situation before. But you, you, you don't recall casting, mm. uh, Divine Sense. Uh, 
Uh. Huh. That's how powerful this is. As you guys see this marching past. Which direction? So, <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, I know uh, everybody besides Jacob uh, is afraid. Everyone, down now! <laughs> Just like th throwing people into the trench. <laughs> Probably Elliot first because he was somewhat. Yeah, he was staring. Two of us look up, and then Elliot is not. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That's a big boy. I guess that's the reaper you mentioned. No, that. Oh, you know, wait. It's a... I forgot its name. <laughs> I forgot its name. We saw it before. We've been shown this token before. It was called the Death Jack. Ah, yes, this is the Death Jack. Oh, is there a Death Jill? I fucking hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully they're not going up a hill then, aka this fucking way. <coughs> anyway, Ellie will itself. crouch. He's gonna crouch down, just make sure he doesn't... <laughs> he doesn't have any... There's no fighting in that thing, there is only death. Does it just rip out your soul or mm -hmm. something? What's me? I have a question, but does that thing have any unique abilities or senses, sensors, like you have? Most likely. It looks like it's going to punch those things so we can see what happens. I'd rather not. I mean, it's good to at least know what the fuck not to touch. I'm under the impression we don't touch anything. That's... Oh... Gonna be able to dodge any of those hits. <laughs> I can uncanny dodge some of them, but I imagine it's got some bullshit that says no. Can I move my token closer so I could see? You don't want to see, Jeebus. You really don't. <laughs> Basically, punch one of those big daddy looking motherfuckers. Ah. Uh. It also threw it when it hit it. Yeah, yeah. How strong you feeling, Elliot? Hey, Elliot's just trying to figure out how to survive against it, not win against it or fight it. I'm avoiding it. Now that it's going south and distracted with those, we go north now. Very well. Alright. Hopefully it doesn't decide to turn around. <laughs> I didn't know it made that sound. I hope that's not it killing something. Oh, sorry, that's me. I needed an update. What, <laughs> what is this update you're doing? Uh, we're gonna start moving. Fucking hell. I know it's not gonna help, but I'm gonna roll a stealth check. I'm gonna roll one too, because I already fucked up one before. Is it kills this one, you watch. In a weird state, that there is, you know, steam and there is power coming out of this one larger robot or automaton. That energy and such suddenly just gets sucked out like a wind pulling in fire into this thing. Ah, I the see. The red lights turn a little pale. <laughs> <laughs> just straight white. <laughs> now it's like a vacuum, but worse. That thing looks like it was built to eat me. It's gonna move on then. I don't want to be. Well, just I'm be sure. thankful we haven't found any rust mites. Rust what? Do you mean Small a swarm creature. of those things? They are. Are you aware what a rust monster is? Rust who? Okay. I'll put it in don't the simplest term. It. it is a creature that. It has a particular saliva that rusts metal, and it devours the rust of that metal. That okay. sounds awful. Yes. Oh, they're horrendous, especially when you start getting people use them as torture devices. They just Why are you so casual right now? Mm. You've seen it a lot. Is that is this how you deal with stress? I'm, I'm more not stressed. 
I'm more surprised that they would actually use it for torture, but I recall for the... <laughs> to answer the question, Deckham, it's either that or we could freak out about the situation and get our nerves on edge, and it's easier just to nod. I'm not very used to stress. I think I'm having a panic attack. You might want to calm that down a few pegs. But yes, to elaborate, the rust monster is a large creature that likes to eat metal by turning it into rust and devouring that rust. I and don't rust. know. I don't know, I don't know the full ecology of it, but from what I understand it seems to have some sort of fungi or parasite within its body. Rust might then, Oh, sorry, God. At least from my understanding of the world that I come from. They're known as a rust swarm, which are a horde of smaller, tiny rust monsters that with the sole focus of mine to devour metal. In fact, you and I are probably the most appetizing meals to them if we ran into them for this entire battlefield. They will stop at nothing to devour the metal or turn the metal into rust to devour it. If anything, rust mites as well, at least from where I come from, are usually used as torture where people just lay sheets of metal slowly let it rust away the metal and then just slowly eat into someone's stomach or lower intestines. Very fun schleichen torture technique. It's fucking horrendous. I feel like that is a waste of torturing devices, but I suppose this Clinton is uh, a depraved place. Yeah, that's where the crazy lady with the horns and the mask came from. And where these dice, as she kind of points out, uh, the ones the ones that she had bought have also come from, since they're technically hers. I see. More reasons to never quite visit your world. Eh, it's not all bad. We have a beach town resort that's generally laid back, where vampires rule over half of the community and turn people into... Yeah, it's probably not that great. <laughs> She's just like thinking about it. My point stands. But again, the idea of rust monsters or rust mites being used as a torture device is news to me. But yes, Deckham, they are a horrendous creature that, or swarm of creatures, depending on what you run into, that will single mindedly try to eat you by rusting your entire body. Even magical, enchanted weapons are not safe from them. Oh, great. Deckham looks at looking at himself as he as if he's not a giant magical weapon. Yeah, pretty much. No, he's no, he, he's just realizing he's a uh, he's a five star buffet. I was gonna say, I'm surprised that Cordoba doesn't have an employed rust mites to stop the workforce. It's one of the most uh, arcanely uh, and like we're, we're like the warforged are built. The rust it, rust creatures were exterminated. Okay, rust is curious. <laughs> yeah, I, they might be. There's definitely some in the south, but there's none in the north. That makes sense. Yeah, Elliot will just add. I, I was just curious because, like, rust mites generally are like just common things. So yeah, when the gnomes learned about their existence, they went treat. cracks, cracks, knuckles, and genocide. Yeah. <laughs> Elliot will just add yes, there's also the fact that goblinoids and other creatures of the Underdark use the rust monsters as pets or mounts. And Who the fuck would ride those things? Goblins. Never mind, I understand everything now. Greybeard had a book about them, or rather the rust monsters, that they are usually docile and tameable until they are in the presence of metal, and their acute senses, they can pick up a any type of metal within, I believe, a kilometer. so glad we only have to deal with rust mites, and they're very limited. 
I never seen a Resmite. I have seen a Rust Swarm, which looked like Locust. A Rust Monster. Elliot does his best to describe a Rust Monster, which is a large creature. <laughs> Looks like a deformed cricket <laughs> with a spiked tail, club tail. <laughs> God, now my thing brain's only going to fucking fall out with rest my <laughs> Either way, hopefully that thing's not turning around. Doesn't look like it, thankfully. She's kind of just pushing the ball up. As you begin to trudge further down the last few kilometers, it begins to rain. The mountain of scrap begins drawing closer, taking up partially the horizon that seems like a flat, barren wasteland, mist and dust and screens. As you draw near, you see more trenches, and at the base of the hill, beyond those trenches, you see a bunker. Concrete and steel that has been pitted and dissolved and eaten away by weather and time and all manner of weaponry. Eh. But as you do so, the sounds of war draw closer both behind you and in front, to the sides. You begin seeing streams of glowing projectiles, artillery, screams, other things. For some reason, the set of trenches you guys appeal to seem empty at the moment. But the fire Fires from artillery strikes still burn. You are all here. Oh, I bet that uh, the streams are loving this bit, right? All two of it. Is it good? Is it bad? No, it's not. Nah, We're good. Old. Okay, I'm mean, that type uh, of like... It looks like it's looking good on mine. Okay, good. So I tried to do as minimal dynamic lighting as possible, and I know the rain has got its own weird bay ray problem. Yeah, no, it's working okay on my end, and... Yeah, still zero frames lost on my end, so I think we're good. My only frame lost is my frame of reference. <laughs> anyway. So I'm gonna say that you guys entered the d trenches for now. <sighs> but what do you want to do? I look over is to Deccan. Deccan, you know this sort of area better than any of us. He brings up his handy, but also has a something if something decides to jump over the trench. Be blow, keep quiet, try to make it to the bunker. And there, we'll most surely find enemies. I look at my spells available right now. How long rested? Yeah. Yeah, I nope. just didn't change my spells. Yeah, I don't have anything proper at the moment. Nothing proper. Oh. Niles and Ma, how do you two how do you two feel about a bit of scouting? We'll be thirty feet behind you. Uh, what's well, the I think that's really our uh that's really our strong suit, despite Wait. me not wanting it to be our strong suit right now. Wait, wait, hold on. Let me roll my D8. <laughs> Alright, I'll let you know. And she kind of points to her head and then just kind of takes the lead. Um, is it like, like very bad trench warfare where it's starting to get like muddy all and shit in the trenches or no? Or is it just like a light rain that just started? Allow me to describe the mud. Stop, dear God. 
I'd like to eat the mud. You have seen mud before. Multiple times. This is whatever this is. is. <laughs> oh, it is. It is. Oh, God. It's sticky like clay. It smells like blood and decay. <laughs> and sometimes you step in one thing and you think you hit a rock when what you actually kick up is a bone <sighs> or a weapon. It's God. deep. It clings to you. It's cold. No, she did the shit. As she's just saying that again, she's not wear. She isn't wearing shoes the whole time. So, come on, Zamar. He says in his head. I will, I will point this out. It it is cripplingly cold. It is. Yeah, weird. I'm not dressed at all for this, but doing the best I can. Just the mud. The rain falling on you is warmer than the mud. Oh, ew. Well, that kind of makes sense, I guess, for trenches. Um, how, like, high off the ground is the trench? Like, how to the top? They are the anywhere from 6 to 10 feet up. Okay, I'll there just kind of, like... There are boards, things like that to climb up. Okay, I'll climb up enough where my head peeks out just to look, but nothing else, because I don't want to, like, expose us. All right. I got to roll. I'm going to lose a horn here, guys. Horn here. Nothing happened. Lucky you. Oh, that was to GM. I should roll that in the public. Just a moment. Sorry about that. Ah. Uh... Wave Waller. Oh, my God. I can't believe Dorsey is running this now. Mm. I'm in <sighs> I'm... I don't know if I should take the original one or this one. That's up to you. I'm gonna take this one. This one. Oh, no. <sighs> Come on. Oh, Paul! <laughs> you are not very lucky. You stick your head up and see the soot-stained lenses of a masked figure turn towards you. Along with the weapon they carry. The tiny flame at the tip gives only a slight hiss before you need to roll a dexterity saving throw. Everything. Kyle just is like immediately Everyone? like, nope! Even them? Even them? Yes. <laughs> it's a flamethrower. <laughs> this makes sense. <laughs> well, you and I are fine, Zinmar. Oh, I, I, I Elliot is not. It didn't matter. Because it's a line. No, it's a oh, line. We still have plus three. Uh, uh, you still have plus three from. Well, he still has a plus three from my. Oh, it's a count. Oh, okay. okay. How well, far is that count? Everybody has to roll. Oh. Okay, give me a second and get to my uh, thing. I suspect I'm gonna fail this. Cause, um... Oh, hey, uh, Elliot, how's your aura working? Plus, Plus three. three. You're fine, dude. God. <laughs> Elliot is not. Uh, Kyle's immediately like, fuck! And uh, grabs it more before she does anything, and then fucking deck him, and Elliot gets blasted. Yeah, I just want to point out, uh, Elliot is on fire. So you took the 33 points of fire damage, and you are currently coated in napalm. I oh. am going to use my... Which is why I now need people to roll initiative. Okay. Roll for initiative. Ow. Huzzle. Make sure to click on your token. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm on it. David? Who did you do? That makes okay, sense. Today. <laughs> Elliot rolled poor initiative because he's on fire. <laughs> Who did you bribe today? I All don't right. know. I prepped somebody this week, and I'm scared for what's happening. What's gonna come to bite me in the ass? All right, Jackham. Elliot is on fire. All right, Where cool. I'll use. Be, and you took uh, half of the thirty-three, so. I'll use my storm guide to uh, direct the rain within a twenty-foot radius of me directly onto Elliot. All right. Elliot is put it's out. Just like a funnel over Elliot for all the rain. Uh, what is this? That's oh. Elliot right now. It washes off and just with the sheer amount of water you watch as the flame just because of the napalm basically dissolving it just slowly spreads out for a moment around you like an oil fire and then just dies out from there not being enough. Oh god. We're gonna have to deal with this the whole way through. Hooray. I'm pointed out, though, if you're looking up at this, you don't see him anymore. 
I don't see the enemy. Well, I saw a cracked looking man with glasses or goggles that shot something and then left. I sure hope to God he's not a black powder person. And she just kind of. Your heads down. Well, we have to kind of go up to get to the next one, so. We could just keep heading further down. Alright. Though it does look like it kind of crashed, we're still probably gonna have to go up either way. Actually, it's low. It's even though it goes up, there's enough to. Okay, okay. You, from what you can tell, you could probably belly crawl or something if you had to. If it's that, but you'd still be below. Alright. It's kind of like small gullyish thing. Alright, Zamar, let's go. Also, everyone just kind of stay back a little bit further, just in case there's some other bullshit. Yes, I will do just that. As, uh... I'm going to use 20 points of my lay on hands to heal myself. Uh, I fucking hate crawling through this shit. Jackin, please tell me you at least have pressed digitation. Pause. I may need that after this as she starts crawling. Oh, you will get to that disease if you don't get this in your mouth. And just a moment. Oh, God. Um, just tell me where I can go or not, because I won't. Ah! Mm. Oh! <laughs> as oh. the uh, walls begin to uh, move. Shit. <laughs> uh, I don't think we can go quick. I don't think we can go slowly on this one. No. There's some definitely some dead boys. Cool. Some of them are tra or completely thrashed. Yeah, they're now crawling out of the walls. So, uh, you got choices, kids. All right, so we either go fast and get a chance of getting blasted by a flamethrower, or go slow and get mauled to death by these things. That's in the head. Everyone's head. Your call. Right. It's almost like uh, a it's almost like a running joke know. that every place we come into, we have to be running from hordes of monsters. I don't expect anything less at this point. As Kyle gets up and starts sprinting. Oh wait, it's not my turn. Sorry. My bad, I forgot we're in turn order. Yeah, it was turn. Alright, okay. well. What sucks is that Ellie goes very, very last. <laughs> <laughs> ah, don't worry, Elliot. You're, you're a holy man. Your faith will protect you. While our, our faith is running down the other alley for like 20 minutes. Well, Elliot, I'm sad to say that I do not have Dimension Door, so sorry! Why did you not get Dimension Door? Sorcerers have to use what's usable. Basic what? step. Same difference. I guess it's better but worse in some senses. You can only teleport yourself. Just right? to make things a little easier. I don't even know if this is gonna work. I'm going to hit this guy with an acid splash. The bottom left one. Okay. Ooh, 10 acid. They are technically prone, so... This is I'm slightly restrained. So... It's two of them, I'm guessing you're going to take both of them? Yeah. Yep, they both fail. And it does damage. Anything else, Tekken? Uh, nope. That's all I can move, so I'll be here. Zamar. I am also going to start zooming. <laughs> 
here. Uh, wait, is, is this too high to throw rocks above? Yes. <laughs> okay, then never mind. You can throw mud balls instead. They can't afford rocks in this economy. <laughs> okay, Kyle. It's just skulls. <laughs> oh, that's even fucking worse. Uh, what's my move again? Uh, I bet they probably wrong. take six attacks off the bat. Minimum. Nah, you're fine. They'll probably be a disadvantage. I'm gonna tell you, they can't make an opportunity attack on you because of their positioning. Well. They are literally digging out of the walls at the moment. Right. <sighs> Except, well, their turn comes right Actually, before me, so. Wait, wait. That's true. That's my first move. I'm just gonna dash another into the five. Oh go. gosh, good to do the thing where she gets too far ahead and immediately gets gunned down. That's why I'm kind of stopping here right now. Just to like, put enough distance. Yep! God damn it. Well, at least I'm past that bullshit. Okay. Alright, and those ones are beginning to move. Come on, why the heck? Did they get sent to the wrong freaking... Oh, that's why. I'm on the wrong layer. Oh good, there's more. Mm. That'll be a good time for that Flammenwaffer. Oh shit. <laughs> that was my only reaction as a player saying, Well, good luck, buddy. Well, the ones on the walls, since they are still technically prone around you, this will be a disadvantage. So there will be four coming at you. Thankfully, that's a miss. A miss. Oh. Oh my god. That is very close. <laughs> it's getting close. Uh, okay. Oh, I gave you full plate. Come on. I know. I'll say that is that is that is that is uh unnaturally getting closer. <laughs> I was looking at those numbers as like yeah, that's, that's getting a little too close. That's getting a little too close. Okay, you know what? Uh as a player I'm like, god damn I am in a deep shit hole. Uh Elliot is like so I want to smite these damn things. Elliot, you good? I was going to use Shield of Fate. Increase AC by two more. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot, you good? That's in his mind, by the way. I'm not going to start yelling because I'm not that fucking stupid. And then I'm going to actually dash. So whatever, which ones are going to take their attack of opportunity, they may just do that. Uh, that would Back be... up, is Elliot dying? I hear that man. No, here it comes. <laughs> he like runs out of the horde like a beacon. Elliot, Elliot just adds, "Run, run." We're doing a chase again. <laughs> hands and arms sticking out of the walls ahead of you. <laughs> uh, let me see. That was bonus action. Action. Yep, that is it for Elliot. Deck him. The walls have hands. And faces. Oh. Can I give them a high five? Beautiful. <laughs> no. <laughs> Tackum, there might be some on that side as well. Oh, not right now. And it was either choose the one that didn't have a face popping out of it or choose the one that did. So I chose this one. <laughs> That's my turn. Zimal. Well, um, I'm also just going to uh, make my way to, uh, Downtown. yeah, it's over here. Just chilling. Trying not to get pieced up. 
Uh, where's, just so I have a frame of reference, where be the bunker? It's all the way at the end of this. The bunker is clear on the other side of the map. Uh, uh this is gonna be hell. But there is a building right here. Moogle, every time there's a building right near there, there's like 20 other guys in there at this point. I'm not opening it. Every time. I mean, the door is open, but, you know. Every time. What? I'm not that ridiculous. Love is an open door. And that, that's an open door I don't want to ever see open again. So what you doing, Kyle? Ah, oh, you gotta be shitting me. Ellie just makes, uh contacts with the telepathic link. I suggest we make a break for the bunker. Don't want to go in this building, as Kyle just kind of points. Wish I had a grenade, though. Everything just kind of turns. <laughs> uh, hold on. That's my bon That's my uh, bonus action dash, so let me see. Do I have anything to throw? Oh, wait. So, Moogle. Yeah. Technically... Mariner? I've been holding on to four bottles of holy water from forever ago. Can I throw one in there and see what happens? Sure. Alright, so I'll just... Um, I guess should I just roll my dagger to aim it? Basically, yeah. Okay. Uh, Miser, what's the usual damage of holy water against undead? Uh, usually they put it as a... I think it was a... 2 or 3d6 radiant damage. Uh, 24? I guess it takes sneak, too. Oh, no, I wouldn't get the sneak, but 24 is why the hit. I do Actually, that. you know what? I should have you roll that. Why am I? Yeah, rolling? I was gonna say, please. <laughs> Watch roll that fucking damage. Thing. <laughs> Much better. Thank you. <laughs> At least it wasn't three ones, Mugo. I would have cried. Oh, yeah, maybe four. Um, so let me. I, I have been corrected. It's uh, 2d6 radiant. To uh, well, you undead. get to take that. It's still mine. Yeah. Urge of reason. Deal with it. <laughs> so, what happens when I throw this in here? Like, what do I see as I throw in one of the holy water bottles I have? Well, it appears to be super effective. Damn. I was hoping it would have been not very effective. Also, they're really mad because, because they took refuge in this house to get out of the rain and you just threw water on them. Yeah, oh my god, I killed one! Yeah, one, I, yeah. Oh, I could see the other X of another one. Never mind, I killed two. <laughs> I just murdered these fuck. Holy shit. Never mind, took me the house out. So, as you, what's up? Let me a perception you that fast. <laughs> Uh, 15. You did notice that there was a not undead dead body at the very far end, back end of it, holding something in his hand. Uh, like an alive person? Like a... Recently alive. Within at least, you know, the last like, six months, maybe. Okay, so they're deceased, but they're just not, like, brought back from the life. Yeah, they're not undead. Ah... Uh... I might go in the house because there might be something I need, but right now there's some people in there, so I'll be waiting here for when you guys decide to join me. And that's my turn. Uh, I need to test everybody. Damn. Too many of them selected. Come on, just the row.
it's your turn. Right. Uh, how high are these things again? That one's about six feet. I'm just going to do a quick roll for myself. Even as I go over the trenches or uh, as I try to barrel through these guys. Uh, well, I go with the rolls. So... What's odds? Odds I try to go through these things. <clears throat> One. And, uh, how's that thing looking? Because I'm throwing a Divine Smite into it as well. 2d20s? Huh? Roll me 2d20s. 2d, oh. Okay. So you decapitated it and took a leg off. Is it dead? Because <laughs> I'm about to... Actually, yeah. From the damage. Okay. Because I was about to throw a Divine Smite on it, but... It was the Radiant that saved you. Okay. I move. Okay, you will take opportunity attacks from two of them. Both of them are a miss. As uh, thank goodness I managed to bunk up his uh, AC to twenty one. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> well, an eight and nine, you know, I don't, I don't know if it's really a big deal or not, but okay. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to get swarmed by these things. Anything else, Elliot? That's it. Take <laughs> him. We've got this in, all right. I'll be fine. I mean, they just use every action so you guys can run around. I will get to here and cast. I had something in my mind. Uh, he is prone. There can prone still make opportunity attacks? Yes, they're a disadvantage. Oh. That's why I've been rolling a disadvantage. Yeah. Basically, yeah, either way, this, give me some, this, this is going to give me some added movement anyway, so I will just cast uh, Thunder Wave and give that great uh, cacophony something to pay attention to. But also still under rubble, those four. Two. Two damage. <laughs> Two. You wrote, oh, wow. Yep. But that will let me use my Tempestuous Magic as a photo section. He doesn't even take the two. He takes <laughs> one. It was literally because, like, as you went to hit it, like, his head, like, was just under a piece of wood and was like, oh, shit. <laughs> but that lets me use my Tempestuous Magic to uh, not take a any... AOs, it was funny to use it anyway to get a little bit more movement speed. So, where is it? So, where's the like, first things I have? There it is. Boom. So, I have All another right. 30 feet. Well, they should be right behind me. Oh, look at them. They're, why are they all wet? They're inside. See one back there. Hello. Zimar, what are you doing? <clears throat> well, it's time to run. <laughs> oh, this guy not... Can I just jump over him, or...? You'll be going over the trenches, which... You might risk the flamethrower again. Well, I mean, I can just jump over the dude, right? Or yeah, I mean... Have... Might take an attack of opportunity. One second. 
<laughs> Hello. So I went at one, two, three, four, five. Oh, does Step of the Wind not have disengage as a bonus action? You can just do that and you won't take any AOL. And then you can dash uh, normally. Let me look. This is better. That's not what I meant to click. <laughs> it's been a while since I've played a bug because I've been mostly defaulting to rogues now. What's going on? Uh, does Step of the Wind not have disengage as a bonus action? It does. Yeah, you can just do that and then just do dash normally and you'll be fine. You can burn a key, obviously, but probably be worth it. I recall it does. I mean, it, that's what I've known it to be. It's either disengage or dodge. Uh, spend one key to take the disengage, to take the yep. disengage or dash action, as a bonus action in your turn. And Low your jump order. distance okay. is doubled. And your jump distance is doubled. I would probably do that so you don't get slapped a few times. Yeah, that'd be fine. I'd just spend a key point to do that. <laughs> and it's canonical because my jump distance is doubled, and I had to jump over a dude. <laughs> it's in the cannon. Doing one of those like really like the, the squat jumps, so he doesn't get his head above the trench and just. <laughs> yeah. All right, Kyle. All right. Um. Uh, the body's all the way past that funny standing man, correct? That I saw. Hello. Yeah. All right, um, I have, I'm going to just slap this man with a holy water. All right, where is it? So deck and just watch Kyle goes up and like just slap. Oh my God. I, um, all right, I'll roll my 3d6 or no? Yep, or, roll the 3d6. Okay. Stuck on the four between the four and the five, but it gave me the four. Yeah. All right. Um, I still have another, at least normal move. Um, what is this guy holding? You said he was holding something. It looks like a gun. Oh no. Is it like a? Is it like a titanium grip in it? Or like, oh, actually, let me ask this: Is it pointed towards himself or towards something else? Well, there's a hole in the side of his head and some blood splatter in a certain direction. Fuck it. He's not using it anyway. I'll grab it. Uh, what kind of gun is it? Just for, like, frame of reference. It's a service revolver. Well, another one for the collection. As she just kind of puts it in her, I guess, just bag or whatever the fuck she keeps her gun. <laughs> I have no clue where it just goes. Disappeared in the again. mystery gun hole. <laughs> yeah, let's not call it that because that could be for connotations that I would prefer not. <laughs> I was just having bad images of the uh, old man in a wheelchair in the blood. All right, Deckham, that's everything here. Let's get going. <laughs> and she starts, dashes out after she smashes a guy with holy water, grabs a gun, and leaves. <laughs> This is looking ugly. <laughs> so am I hearing the weird clicking, or is it just me? Oh, it's me, sorry. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, man. I uh, know it's the the path of the paladin. I have crappy uh, dexterity at times. I'm not gonna move that little fucking horde. <laughs> I'm gonna move these. Oh. 
All right. Early it. Well, You're going to take a couple. Since they're able to move. Ah. You know, someone should probably go back and help Elliot, but at the same time. So the first attack. That hits. Wait, with full play to the 19 hits? Oh, I'm sorry, I got Shield of Fate. Never mind. I was gonna say, Jesus Christ. I say full plate's 18 automatically. <laughs> Yes, and I also got defense fighting style, so that gives me a 19. Holy yeah. shit, Miser. And, uh... And number two. They need 21 or higher to hit me, which I'm not... I'm kind of expecting that may just happen soon. Alright. Elliot, you're kind of getting swarmed by muddy corpses. Yep. Well... I did roll before that Elliot was going to fight his way through, so... Elliot is going to be fighting his way through. I hate that this, like, the music just picked up while Elliot's fucking dying in the background. <laughs> so, uh... Let's see. One. Now I'm throwing a divine smite on this son of a bitch here. Uh, the one right in front of me. Like undead grape. Okay. Move on to this one. Same thing. Okay, Elliot. If you die, we'll remember you. Uh, uh, I feel I feel a little bit warm within my heart, and this one I'm gonna hit it with a divine <laughs> smite level two. In all honesty, I think you'll be fine because I don't think these things could probably not break through your armor or have to like crit. Probably D100 on that. Okay, hold on, let me just count down my spell slots because I'm kind of burning through them right now. <laughs> I... <laughs> you rolled an 11! Oh my god, guys. Okay, that's 5. Uh... 10... Wait, where... Where is Elias? Is he just underneath them? Well, there is my movement. Uh, do I have anything for a bonus action? I do not. I should point it out. You hit hard, so hard on the second one that you blew up the guy behind him and hurt the ones behind you. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Elliot, you're still alive. Hello. I understand that I have made you disappointed in my continued existence no that's fine i don't care about that i'm just more so worried that we would have had to come back for you mm -hmm. <laughs> all right this may cause problems in the future but elliot you and i have troubles keeping up like usual please well haste <laughs> Right. So Ellie now has another two AC. <laughs> Wait, Kyle, you didn't see an exit to this building? No. It's just whoop, whoop around, Deckham. She so kind of points to the other side of the trench that keeps going. Man had a nice revolver, though, which we might oh. need to look at later. I definitely couldn't see that with the playing. Oh, yes, I see it now. No worries. We're. Making progress slowly. How many cat head or cat eyes do I have left on me? I only have the one, I think. Yeah. I'll save that. I, um, just out of curiosity, it's like dark and dreary here, right? Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Uh, that was, uh, that'll be my turn. God, I gotta remember to make that black blood too at some point. Mizima. Okay, so there's no exit there. I gotta loop around, I guess. Yep, okay, see, see. Yeah. 
It, it's very hard to like notice. The only reason I can is just like the angle I'm at. Is it really that bad? No, it's not that it's bad. It's just it. the, the way the lighting is shaped. Like it's hard to notice from around the corner. Okay. It's not I see like Elliot. I'll be good here. I mean, again, Elliot is of the mindset of fight to the death, but... No, no, he, he's, he's referring to, like, the small angle, like, because of the way the dynamic oh. lighting is shaped. If you hit it at a certain angle, you can't see it going to the next part. Ah. Uh, I do kind of see the path here. Yeah. The entrance that's, here. that's what I saw, too. It, it was very hard to notice at first, but then I was like, excuse me, coming through. Oh, oh God. I didn't see it because I'm more focused on all these zombies <laughs> After me. <laughs> Please tell me we're almost out of this shithole. I'm tired of the mud and everything else. Then perhaps next time you should wear footwear. Most of my... The problem is the footwear, because my feet are mostly calloused at this fucking point. The problem is just everything else. I'm in a reluctant agreement to that. I had to end my concentration on the rain, so now I'm getting wet. I mean, it's not gonna be really that bad for you, right? You can just get it off. You do realize I'm a living, angry battery, right? Yeah, but like, if you're built correctly, then rain won't hurt. I wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> All I right, well, he... good luck with that. I suspect Deca means that if he were to use his more potent abilities, we will end up getting caught by the electricity in the water. God, I hope not. That's why I usually stay decently far away. Elliot. <laughs> uh, am I getting spanked again? Or, okay, this is my turn to run. Oh, yeah, I guess that one would get a chance to come at you, so... Yeah. Uh, it's okay, Elliot, buddy. You know, that 22 would have hit if it wasn't for the fact that Deku gave uh, an Oh, yeah, he gave him more AC. <laughs> Even more AC. <laughs> Fucking Elliot's just our spank tag because he just takes everything while we're running. Yeah. Holy shit. Well, the spank what? tag's definitely the thing. They're just slapping his ass the whole way. A bunch of football players. Good game, good game, good game. I feel like I made a Jackal 2.0 now. Not really. To be oh, fair, though, you, you are, yeah, Elliot can actually hurt things, plus you have the disadvantage of we're never allowed to stealth when you're around. That's not yeah. either. Well, not just that, True. but Elliot is also, he literally has zero dex. Yeah. So it is your turn now. Elliot. Where Jackal did, at least. Uh, Alright. Uh, let's see. I'm dashing, so that would be... So from 70 to 140, okay, so that's 55. Oh, that is a lot of people here, okay. 55. The trenchers are alive with the hands and eyes of 10 dead people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, somebody take the World War One Doctor batteries away from Mogul. Take every chase scene away from Google at this point. Okay, since you guys are literally almost out of this trench, I want to point out something. This was a fightable fight. You guys changed it. Yeah, I bet it was, but... Yeah, and then you see, like, five people, and you're like, ah. Or, like, 20 people, and you're like, ah. No. I mean, the amount of AoE that I've got, I bet this is definitely doable. It was. Oh, probably, but it's not worth wasting the spell slots. Unless you put yourself in a bad position, you have to face one on one, basically. Yeah. 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 I, I think no, it was, yeah, but it's, it's, it's just supposed to be a choice. There are multiple tools you had to vision. Literally, you could have grabbed one and shoved it their head above the fucking trench. They would <laughs> have the have same. Fucking I don't noise. have the strength for that. <laughs> that would have been funny. That would have yeah, been, cool. but. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna grab this one on the wall and throw him over. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Deck up with his negative two strength. I actually have like a 
So I think I have a plus two to my strength. It might be a plus three. You have a higher than me, then. I only have a. I have a. Yeah, I'm definitely relatively strong. <laughs> when the caster doesn't use strength as a dump stat. Well, actually, Deckham stats are kind of bonkers. Uh, that, that's a dead end, Deckham. Yeah, you, you uh, want to go up, not down. Ah, shit. That's plenty of fucking movement. Okay, you, you, you turned left at the corpse when you should have turned right. And headed towards the horse. Deckham, was the hand pointing the wrong way? Do you need me to change the sign? You just, you just see Deckham. Come running back to the French. Wrong way! Oh, Roll me a perception, Deckham, since you hit okay. that point. And that is definitely high enough. You see behind a scope sticking through a very small crack in a distant trench. Oh shit, it's Ghost from Call of Duty. Sorry. <laughs> and for a moment, you could tell that he was about to shoot you, but stopped. Uh, nobody can see him. He's here. But he holds up three of his fingers, taps his back, three people behind. There's a nod. Alright, everyone. Go to South Strange. Run to the scuttle face. Alright. Is Ellie, that the enemy? Bob, could you give us, like, an no. image? Or think about it. Oh, oh, right, we're connected. Uh, he will definitely uh, show you guys uh, ranged unit 1179B. One of his old unit. I see. Alright. But instead of in this terrain, it's like walking up behind him and it's like in a forest. I see Jeebus picked like the scariest motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, have you seen Jacob's token? Yeah. He did Saint 14. Yeah, do you right. know how scary Smart. Saint Your 14 turn. is? Yes, I do. <laughs> I've seen him without a mask Hello. before, Jeebus. And that one cinematic. Across the trench, we have cover. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, hold on. I kind of... I want to angle this better because... I want to cross the walls. <laughs> this Kyle just runs out. Oh! Oh. Well, you weren't lying about that. I just said you're in my leg. Yeah, it's hard yeah. to see through this trench. It's definitely a lot darker. I'm not going to worry too much about them. Elliot, it's your turn. How close is this thing to me? Oh, it's still crawling out of the wall. So I have an uh, advantage on my attacks, right? Basically, yeah. Alright. I don't like it. I'm hasted. I'm going to haste the paladins so they can run away. <laughs> Takes it, a turn. It hits. Hey, you know what? For good measure. That was plenty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was the thing. These, there's a lot of them, but they don't have hit points. <laughs> no. No, so I imagine they did it. Take his decapitated head and throw it over the wall over here. <laughs> skull for the skull throne. I love how you, you found, like, the most ghost-looking fucking... I did. I, I, you have no idea how long I spent looking for my unit. <laughs> All right. And at the top of the round, because there are people above the trenches. Oh, fuck me. 
Uh, <laughs> oh, someone's so. Good luck, Elliot. You're taking evens are Elliot, odds are Kyle. <laughs> oh shit, he doesn't have the tracer around like Jack, also I can't just be cursed with the shield. <laughs> yeah, but no, all right. my luck. Well, it's even. <laughs> That does not hit. Yeah, you both are just gonna, you hit that zinc right past your head, like, what the fuck? Oh god, I hate this. Dakum, I thought you told your friend not to shoot. I don't think not that was from him. Behind. him. It came from behind. Oh. Ah. Hey, right, Dakum, it's your turn. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, as a smart person who stayed in the trench with the amount of movement I can to leave. <laughs> well, I'm not staying in there with the zombie men. It's uh, only a matter of if you can't make it. <laughs> yeah, I'll use my movement to get over here and then just hop into the trench. All right, make me, uh, I'll let you slide in or something like that. Make me, uh, athletics or acrobatics or dex. on the mud, he just goes, Noom! Just slams into it. Yeah. No, he dodges, I'll tell you that. You just end up sliding all the way to the fucking door. Ah, bang! Yeah, you just say, slick, wham! Ow! <laughs> and, uh, you see three beings looking back at you. God damn it. I love that one. That was my favorite, actually. Yeah, that one was had to be kind of cute. I like the first one. You don't recognize him. That come up point that out. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. I almost used that token, actually, is what that was. All right, Zamar. Okay. Well, it looks like we're just kind of mad dashing here. Uh, where? Uh, uh, it, it went that way. Yeah, the, the, the trench was this way. A door, or is that, or is that a? It's a trench. It's a hole. Yeah, just just go in the uh, hole. Behind it, you see a giant freaking doorway made of steel. That's. Well, if you would like to take <laughs> something to jump in, you can. Yes. Or slide in, or whatever you'd like to do. Guys. Very incoming! As he's upside down. Very you, you, go to, you go to jump and you end up sliding, but you do land. Very ungracefully. Unlike a kitty cat. Don't say anything about me being a cat. I know. Sit by, you just see deck of ass over tea kettle. <laughs> All right, I have enough move to get in, so I'll uh, I'll do a front flip in, just for style. Mm -hmm. Roll I it. feel like I feel like Kyle's just coping at this point. Uh, Twenty three. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also deck based. You do know that, right? Perfect landing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> As Kyle win. lands, I just kind of kick the back of the her knee. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> Look, you just, it's all in the form. You just slid face down. Yeah, all right, Elliot. All right, how are you going to eat shit? I'm about to form right in your face. <laughs> full on bowl chart. Better climb last, flip over and, like, climb down it. I was yeah. going to say it was a full on uh, bull shoulder charge. Oh, God, he's just going to eat shit then? <laughs> I'll roll athletics. <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm going to eat shit. Never mind. <laughs> oh, please just have a run straight into the tree. Oh. Whoops, I just dropped my, uh... My... I hope Barry fucking catches him so I don't get fucking plowed oh. by the man meat. There we go. Yeah, plenty. 17. Oh, never mind. oh, yeah, I know. You, like, at that last moment, you just suddenly spider climb and just kind of flip forward and then walk down the, the front. <laughs> when half the party has climb speed and they just ignore it to do front flips. 
What? Actually, three fourths of that. <laughs> Deckham, you, you good? That she's yeah. looking over. Yeah. Oh, uh, around here, you can call me Al or Assault, please. All right, Al? Al. A L, come on. Al. Sorry, it's oh, easy to pronounce. No, I'm trying to say owl, but it's just the pronunciation makes it sound like owl. <laughs> like, that's not even a character no. thing. That's a me you're thing. Very, you're very close <laughs> it's to my me. accent makes owl sound like owl. It is very Sorry? close. Sorry? It is I very... Wasn't even trying to... <laughs> Sorry. It is very close to the word ale, which is Grady Beale's favorite drink. Yes, it's also... So, uh, hey, boys. As his feet slammed down onto the ground. <laughs> I had a picture like he was just like resting on his neck with his back and like feet resting on the door upside down. And then it opens and it opens outwards. Three of the words and we just plop over. <laughs> so Al, would you like to introduce us? More. I'd like to get inside. Alright. You know, he has the head of him, but he's missing a lot, but I guess that makes sense, doesn't it? as the one above next to Kyle talks and as you guys realize hey. especially Kyle and Zamar and uh, Elliot he's missing his legs uh the this this guy up here um do yeah. you need some do you need help getting inside then no this is what I do I thought you were shelter <laughs> I guess it is pretty easy to stay eye level with the uh, trench when you have no legs. That's not. Practically, uh, it's correct. Is any. Um, I guess while we're here, is anyone else, like, missing any body parts? Like, the, I'm assuming this sniper guy or you can't just ask people if they're missing no that, that's an above that's, a, that's an you? above that's an above table question for the dm <laughs> the sniper one okay is missing his left arm okay and one of the feet doesn't match anymore uh, that was just this one had... some of his parts don't match necessarily okay in fact, you kind of notice that across a lot of them, there seem to be parts that are either severely damaged or cobbled together. As one steps forward and offers Deckham a hand. Is that really you, Commander? I never thought I'd see your faces again. Yes. yes Deckham, is. roll me a perception as you look into this room. Well, the first thing you notice is an odd green glow. And as your office counters adjust, you realize there's a body half melted into a, the back wall. It takes you a few moments to recognize it. You recognize every bolt, every plate, because <laughs> it was yours once. There is a missing head, which kind of accents the various cables and other things coming out of the head and other parts of the body trailing along to when you realize there is a severed head sitting on a table next to a gun. A heavy gun that you recognize as one of the last models produced before you were completely decommissioned. He's going to put a hand on repair unit shoulder. The first order you all ever listened to actually let you all survive. That's when you see the one that you know as a reaper unit. Actually, I believe the fact of the matter was is that 
We weren't entirely sure we survived. We were still speculating if we're actually in hell. No, I believe we're in a different realm of existence. One that we can all leave. That's when you hear a voice from the back. Leave? That is not allowed. You, your designation is decommissioned unit. Your previous designation requires you as a command leader. It is your duty now to execute these traitors. Gladly, as his face opens, looking at whoever the fuck is talking right now. The head on the table is glowing. And I need you to roll me a history at advantage. Walk in. History. <laughs> Vintage, somebody's playing with the door. Sorry? My ADHD going down, so it's like, ooh, clicky. 15? The old gears spin a little bit as you have those memories that have been flooding back. This one is not so strong, but you remember hearing something about with the sentience developing as a problem and the questionable morale of the current run, enforcement by commissars was a new unit developed meant to root out any dissent or free thought. And that's when you remember the gun. Specifically designed to kill Warforge. Used by a unit designed to have absolutely no free will, only orders. So did a commissar unit come along with us on our mission? Yeah. Part of the reason you don't have a head anymore. Right. Once I ordered all of you to evacuate, that bastard shot me. Do we hear this? Yeah. Ah, uh, all right. Kyle just pulls out a second knife. Who are we stabbing? Oh, yes. Ellie is actually pulling out his mace this time. <laughs> For all intents and purposes, all he can do is talk. So he is... And exist. Harmless for the time being. It is your duty to commit... Or to do this, order, Amanda. Or I will have one of these other execute you and then themselves summary. It sounds like a pompous fool. Sounds like an asshole. They're built that way. It's not his fault. He even has a hat. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it's Zool 2.0. <laughs> but more asshole edition. What type of hat? Yeah, I'm actually Hello? curious. Is it like a World War One hat? Commander hat? Well, it's a red hat with a flat top and a brim. Oh, fuck. He's a he's a Mets fan. Uh, well, he's oh, a commissar. Oh, worst kind. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I'm making a, I'm making a joke. Yeah, I was gonna go. He's I was going with the fan. I was gonna go with the worst world, kind of people. I was gonna say World War II uh, German hat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was assuming he was wearing more of a Kaiser hat since this is more World War One oriented. Yeah. Well, his the war on Jordova is different. True. <laughs> Uh, I'm surprised just... you. He'll look specifically at the Reaper unit. I'm surprised you kept him around. Well, actually, it was. I was suggesting actually killing him the whole time, but everybody else said that our programming shouldn't allow us to kill a commanding officer, and he was the highest ranking at the moment when we arrived here. Wow. Oh. Also. Can we use our chosen names or do we have to go by the designations? Because your designation sounds like ass. 
I hated it anyway. He will hold out his hand to whoever grabs it first, with any of them. Mm -hmm. And immediately as they grab, he's going to hug them. I'm now known as Deckham. The one who actually grabbed it was the one you used to know as an engineer. I go by Terry now, sir. Pleasure to meet you once again, Terry. Outside the confines of our programming. Well, in a weird way, they decided to call me Poe after the poetry part, but never completely understood it. As the Reaper unit is the next one. And, and no hugs, I don't really do the contact thing. You have a lot of blades on you, so I'm all right. And then the silent one. They decided to call me Seven since I couldn't come up with anything better. And what? those Seven. out there, huh? They're afraid of Nine. Castle. What we decided to call him. On account of what he looks like. He chose his own as O. Me. Zero, and then N I to like, understand it myself still. And that's Vernal. Yes, We're not sure that. where Vernal Did came you... from. Oh, good ask if you replaced me. No, he just appeared here one day. Oh. And he'll gesture behind him to you three. Now just kind of waves like two fingers, like not like a salute, but kind of like you know that hey kind of thing. Oh, the nonchalant that's... one is Kyle. The stern, strong, and silent type is Elias. As uh, Declan is making that introduction for us, I'm gonna do a quick divine sense just to get a reading of everybody here. Oh no, Reaper unit, run! <laughs> <laughs> oh, run! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Yeah, sorry, but uh he has to make sure we we've had too many familiar faces with people that seem to add some sort of horrible issue to them. Alright. Oh god. Seven and Poe have some kind of undead energy to them. But it's different. The primary thing that you do notice is the weird elephant in the room, which actually is just a green glowing orb in a body that's been melted into a wall that has the level of fiend and uh, unholy bullshit that you haven't sensed in other possibly ever. I mean, have you ever been in face to face with a demon or a devil? Uh, the closest thing would have to be the succubus, but. That was a good yeah, Elliot she was, was nothing. Yeah, Elliot like, was the bait. Succubus, you're like, ah, yes, this is some horny unholiness. This, this is, this is the abyss worst. level, yeah, orcus the, level, fuck everything. Yeah, I think unholy. the worst, the worst demonic creature he that Elliot had run into, but only because of uh, gray beards. Not only bait and switch, but also just what their order does. Would have to be a. Uh, Arcanaloth, but that was because they had to make a deal. Yeah, the but amount of it. unholy and fiendish you've been around is this is like you've heard of like the you know demon prince of destruction and undeath and stuff, and this is like Here's... what you would imagine their asshole would be like. Yeah, here I guess this will be the question for uh, like on top on table question to the DM, but. Would someone as evil as or dangerous as War Duke or other individuals give off that kind of demonic energy or feel? Is a question. You would have an assumption that creatures like Vecna or uh, Azalin or something. You you assume that they're like their power would be like, oh, this is absolutely terrible and death. You know, this is like staring in the abyss. Okay, so it's more. Alright. Hmm. And 
Deckham's walking towards it. Using the is the mental link still working, Kyle? Oh yeah, I wouldn't put that down. It's got <laughs> seven hours, and unless there's a specific reason to kill it, I don't have any too. Yeah, Elliot, we'll just use the mental link. Are you sure you want to get near that, Deckham? Or Al, however you wish to be referred to here. Call me Deckham. Good. I know, oh, you said that. I know how intact the mines were. But should you be getting close to that, that thing is vile. He will turn to you and out loud say, That thing is me. You recognize <laughs> from your dream the core they put in you made of abyssal iron. You could definitely feel Elliot stun shocked. So are you gonna kill us then? Why oh, would I? Uh, you never know with that kind of energy if what Elliot's saying it is. I'm just in... I am um... more force is not their call. And this was added at the end. This it's probably what brought all of my friends here. And that pauper's ass! Can we beat up You will ass? be executed for your you descent. You already have been! Unacceptable! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, can we just dialect. <laughs> De De Deckham, can yeah. we just take it and throw it out and hope to god a sniper takes it out? Well, I that. am the current commanding officer. Anyway, Elliot, how high do you rank? Are you in the military? Squadron. Not <clears throat> the highest I had yeah. was uh, infantry. I mean, I was in... I'm still the commander here. Yes. I mean, I was in a militia, but that's technically not military. <laughs> or at least and regulated. he's going to pick him up by the attached hat. Walk over to Castle. <laughs> Castle, could you please decommission this unit as hard and as far as you can? <laughs> there's a moment of hesitation. Well, there's the commander. <laughs> he just grabs him, and it is like One watching moment. a you know a heavyweight weight fucking. Linebackers chuck the football for a field goal. Before that happens, <laughs> that... I, I just want to do something very interesting. And oh, Elliot God. will walk over. If I may, I want to add one more thing. Oh. Okay. And uh, I'm going to cast Divine Favor on that head. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Make it light up. Is and he's he's got his intentions known. Shall I turn this into a lighting beacon so it can be uh, more noticeable? Oh, absolutely. He loves to be noticed, don't you? There you go. Well, yeah. I kind of want to flavor it that way. Yeah, just just turn it into a light bulb. <laughs> oh, he's just making a fucking floating target. Yes. Okay. All right. He's all yours. Oh. At least one. Oh, machine. No, he got three. <laughs> that's even got... worse. Actually, that's kind of better. <laughs> that. Oh, oh my. Oh, wow. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that's a lot of ones and fours, Moogle. <laughs> that is actually a lot of ones and oh, fours. Holy. Go. Fucking Christmas tree. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's only a 50d4 plus 10. I mean, here's a question, Moogle, but um, would it have advantage because he's light up like a like a light bulb? I guess it. I guess that's oh, technically yeah. like fairy fire, but worse. Yeah, like my, my plan was fairy fire, so this just works. <laughs> and let's see, that's a plus uh, 10 to hit, so 22. Yeah. It you all watch as it goes up in the air, and then suddenly there is just tracer round after tracer round as he just disintegrates. I'm, 
I'm so glad we never got that one. Into a I nice a 60 cal out. sparkly rain of hearts. <laughs> God, I haven't heard that sound in God knows how oh, long. That feels good. Now, everyone get it out of the rain. Uh, I was about to ask. Tony, Castle, uh, Vernon, are you going to stay out on watch? Or can we... Castle, you notice, is just kind of on a weird platform that he can kind of raise and lower. Uh, what would I do? Tony just kind of turns and nods to you. But, you know, I, I, I could get out of the rain. Rain's great. It gets right in the gears, same with this fucking button. Uh, which one would... Oh, I'll tell you that. All right, just holler if you need us. I am a bit more arcanely equipped than I used to be. I'm not just someone who runs in with a shovel anymore. Did you run in with a shovel before? Favorite weapon. <laughs> I didn't think I picked it up when I found one. I thought I picked it up and gave it to you because you said you wanted it. <laughs> yes, so I wanted it. <laughs> Um, does anyone need this as Kyle holds up? It's probably like a bloodied service revolver. And she's kind of like dusting it off, like from the rain and the mud. I have a... Who the fuck just clicked that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm trying to close it. <laughs> it's definitely Jason right now. No, it's me now. My idiot. <laughs> well, you did it once. It... All right, stop. It was... Stop! Guys! Yeah, I'm not doing it anymore. I already done it. My, you, you go fucking haywire. I just call my ass out, you. So what was you? Aww! Google, Google, Google locked it. No, I got it and it won't let me. <laughs> anyway. This um, thing just like click. Google's just like, no, stop. <laughs> Give us something let to Let me play. put the child lock on for the children. <laughs> I kind of just feel like it's one of those, uh, one of those, uh, scenarios where the person just sees a big red button and just starts slamming it. Like, just... <laughs> Pretty much. No, this is where, this is like in Fallout when you make a horrible choice, but you save right before, you just do it just because. Anyway, um, what's well, anyone? Everyone? Oh, sorry, go ahead. You can go first. I guess old team made new team. I had no idea any of you had survived the blast, so I would have obviously been looking for you. But I didn't know I survived the blast until about two years ago. Just had a question. How long has it been? That's the strange thing about it. In our world, nearly 350 years. We watch Oni, he goes to one of the windows and calls out. Oni, you'll, uh, the bet was right. You're the closest at 300. You, you suspect that he just nods back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> it like leans back to where he was. Oni's not really a talker. Not in oh, sense he's like a voice box. Oh, that's even worse. He's just like me for real. Um, Oni is the Reaper unit, right? That one? No, Oni was the no, one. No, Oni's the uh, one with the sniper rifle. rifle. Ah, okay, okay. What was the name of the... Oh, probably oh, the devil the sheets. Hey, let, me, let me see if I can do this to sh... For you guys to see. You should be able to just show players, like, all the sheets, but it won't show anything else. Maybe I don't have sheets. Okay, we can see that, though. Yeah, we can see seven. You can see seven now? Yeah, seven. All right. Um, and now we can see Terry. Terry B. Uh, 
There you go. You should be able to see everybody now. Seven, Vernal. Um, so Silence. seven is the re. Just to clarify, this is the Reaper unit. Stealth unit. Stealth oh, unit. Okay. I see them now. Oh, it's the Reaper. Names. Here, uh, I'm gonna okay. post the tokens just so you can see the rest of the bodies. Okay. I I just want to clear up like just for, like just state of knowing stuff because I'm sure Deckard would like tell us just so. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, every here. time. Yeah, I'm just writing the names down so I can at least keep them in notes. Yeah. And then Castle's outside so we can't see them because Dad locked the door. <laughs> well, because everyone was playing around with the thing, so... I know. I just gave it up. Castle and O. Is it like spelled with a zero or an actual O slash T? The zero. I okay. figured. It's like how deck was spelled with a three. That's uh, why I kind of figured that they all had okay. a zero. CSR's Discord. Okay. Yep, I see them. Thank you, James. Yeah, of course. But I guess I should post Vernal. I can find the rest of them. I was like, yeah, I don't have Vernal. I saw it almost used it for the stealth unit, but then I saw the one that I wanted, and I was like, eh, that one. So, alright, so, Deckham, though yes. they're going by their real names, could you just give us a rundown, or if they would be willing to explain what each one did, did or does? Well, uh, the designations are kind of obvious, and if you take a quick glance over at all of them, they're built by design so if you see here he'll gesture over to terry uh this is probably the least obvious but terry here is our uh mechanic slash medic castle was the uh, bulwark or defense oni was the ranged portion of our unit poe was our secondary melee combatant And I was the primary melee combatant. Um, I'm curious as Kyle's gonna like look at all of them. If we all make it out of these ugly trenches since it's been a while, would you like to at least work on a ship? I'm trying to get together a small crew or at least some that could be functional. And now that I have this, as she holds out her uh, ship order, it'd be at least nice to have some reliable people on board. Yeah, they kind of look at you for a moment, and then you hear from outside. If you can get my ass out of here. Yeah, pretty much. I'll work on whatever. 
Uh, using the mental link, Ellie would ask, who was Seven again's role? And you didn't mention the Vernal person. What was his role since he was the new one? I apologize, but Seven was the uh, forward scout. He could sneak into any building or bunker without ever being noticed. And I have no idea who the hell Vernal is. Hi. Yeah, we, uh, I don't, I don't know who the hell that is. Elliot just Hello, looks, <laughs> Elliot just looks directly at, uh, Vernal and just asks him right in his face. So, what is your story, considering you are new to at least my friend Declan? I'm understanding that we were off Cordoba, right? I am from Cordoba. He looks at Poe. That, that was the name of it, right? Yeah. Inside. I am also exciting, but I, I, I do not trust this person. Seven. That makes sense. I don't know how to read Rubens. Twenty-two. Apparently, fucking Elliot. <laughs> Elliot, you, your instincts on this tell you that he is actually questioning if it's Jordova, like someone who's forgotten. Deckham, being what you are and understanding things, you're. Your first instinct is to think that maybe he didn't entirely awaken before things. Ah. Vernal, I have a slight question. Where were you before the blast? Right. And My designation. V1729. Scrap cover. Ah. Do I remember these types of units? To you, they were more like scavengers and insects. They were very basic early models. Vernal does seem a little bit more advanced, though. But you are realizing it might have been because he incorporated a lot of scavenged parts. Into himself? <laughs> he's yeah. up, he's upgraded by scavenged. The true d and way. <laughs> it would not uh, surprise me, considering the fact that... Uh, considering the fact that uh, we've seen that, you know, people are missing limbs, so it's probably not far-fetched for people to be reattaching those limbs. Seems like it was Terry, Terry, work. Terry did a lot of work guiding on his job. They were broken. That's it. Interesting. Sometimes the gear gets caught. Sorry. Well, having a true designation does seem he might have at least been say, part of the same military. At and least I see it's my fault. As he I lifts up his foot, you just see like there's a worn out freaking marking on his foot. I do remember these being part of the military, but yes, obviously a more rudimentary design to this gentleman here. Mm. It seems you do have had some upgrades. There he is. Yeah, Vernal's basically kept us with parts. When that other thing isn't rampaging around. Other thing? I saw it on the Size of the house. Eats other robots. Ah, the fucking soul thing. (sighs) 
Yeah, we don't know what to call it. It just roams around. I mean, you can always just call it a roamer. That way, it gives it an easy designation, and we know. <laughs> we did meet someone once. An old soldier that came through said it was the champion of the domain or something like that. Oh, oh. boy. Look, the deck. Don't have to kill it, so you have to get past it. Well, I thought <clears throat> most champions of the domains basically are what held them together. So if we kill it, then we could technically end the breach and end the unending war. You watch that thing decimate two of those gigantic warforged. I don't even know if they were warforged. In about, about six seconds? Terry kind of looks at it. Well, they are in a way. They use this identity core, but they're powered externally on fuel and other things. And steam. A lot of steam. Should we worry about the Romer sensing specifically out Warforges? Well, he has only assaulted us four or five times. He took Castle's legs on the last... Oh wait, no, that was the second to the last one. Uh, it all is almost as bad as that Iron Meech that was chasing us. <clears throat> Never lucky in this plane, are we? Do you believe there's any way for us to recover Castle's legs so we can all try to get out of here? Oh, Terry, hmm. have you noticed any leg units that would fit our castle? I saw a set. They are still moving. That could be dealt with. Real creepy guy. <laughs> Look like a noble. Oh, perfect. Out of all of us, Castle has always been the most noble. Had a cape and everything. A cape? Shiny, too. This story sound familiar. Should we be worried, Deckham? Was it more flesh or metal? These like us, like us. We drink oil, lots of oil, like some kind of. What do they call those things, Poe? Vampires. Wait, 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 Yo, wait! Fuck you, you kid! Wait, hold on, <laughs> hold on. The moment you, I gotta roll my wisdom save because said the trigger worked. <laughs> And the word Deckham, of the day is Deckham, internally, you guys are here fucking perfect. <laughs> you hear me, they they all said, those. <sighs> You're telling me. As she starts, like, creating a lot of different psychometrics, there's machine vampires running around fucking with people. I've seen them drain something. It was another war forged. Wait, what about those legs? Ah, uh, weird. Touched. Deckham, we're killing that fucker and getting those legs. <laughs> if I am... Deckham's face could smile. <laughs> <laughs> Look how fucking those guy up. Elliot, Elliot just... I know that Elliot want to kill it. I yes. know that. Yeah, Elliot want to kill it. I know Zinmar's coming because he's bored. <laughs> <laughs> the other part, the so... other part is that Elliot is actually generally confused. That. A warforge or a being like similar to Deckham and his group can become a vampire. <laughs> That's the same for me. I'm just like, huh? Kyle just heard the word vampire and knows that it must die. So there's, there's nothing else to do. And then so all of a sudden. What was it? This is why you don't make a racist towards vampires in a vampire only game. I just try not to make racist general, you know? I mean, it, 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 sometimes they derail an entire campaign that way. Ah, it doesn't matter. 
I can't imagine just Kyle in a Curse of Strahd game, how fucked that would be. It would be different. Puts a hand on one of his shoulders, probably like. <laughs> Miser, like, what the fuck? A lot. <laughs> oh. Is there any way you could direct us towards this unlucky individual? Miser, I hate you. He, he watches, he kind of like reaches up, starts scratching the side of his head. Right, yes, maybe. Could have moved on. It's been a week. Or a year. Ten? Well, as we all know, criminals do tend to return to the scene of a crime. And as commander of this unit, that hasn't done jack shit for you all in 300 years. The least I could do was go find our friend a pair of bats. <laughs> From outside, I want legs, not pants. That or was pants. an innuendo. <laughs> Obviously, I'm getting you the entire set. You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna drag and drop this into the game so that everybody can see this amazing piece of artwork I found. Please tell me it is an actual machine vampire because Kyle's gonna kill that fucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that man is dead. <laughs> I like that image. Oh, That's Jesus fucking Christ. I hate that he has mech bats too. The bat did not make it that much better. That guy's fucked, Moogle. The moment Kyle sees him, he's dying. I'm burning a hole through his chest. That's just unholy. No, he doesn't have any holes in him, so he is actually... Oh, wait, yeah, you're right. Uh, he'll, he, he'll take his hand off Fertile and put it on Elliot. Well, we have an excellent tracker of undead. And I already see the bloodlust in her eyes. I want to point it out, the reason you see this image and the reason I'm posting is because Seven walks up, holds out his hand, and then you second remember this is a holographic image pops up. <laughs> thank, oh, God Kyle under th thank God ho Kyle understands holograms, but hold on, I'm still going to just roll a wisdom to see if she throws a knife through it. She understands the concept, but she's kind of in bloodlust state, so hold on. Nope. Gonna, this is gonna go through the hologram. It's gonna... Is it a regular knife or a psychic? Psychic. I don't you know, throw regular knives. As, you're, as you guys were just talking about that, I just remember that uh, old, uh, I think it was Fox 5's cartoon, The Vampires. Oh, The Vampire? Jesus. Just... Uh, what's a, hey, uh, what's up? Zamar, would you roll me a uh, catch missile for me? I, I don't have it on his sheet. I don't know deflect if you can missile. catch them because they technically yeah it's a flag. Because the way I'll I'll look at the exact wording because I want to make sure because I don't know how it works with that. I'll just throw it. Up. Uh, this is I, more just a so this is okay. more just a bullshit thing of him. Like you got to throw it and then like his other hand just like snaps out and grabs it. <laughs> well, it's only six damage. So if he deflects enough, he should be fine. Depending on his level, because I'm not. It doesn't count the same. Yeah, it, he literally like you watch him like snap out and grab it. Oh, <sighs> sorry. Not a fan of the fight, folk. It's a miracle that I'm you, actually you, so. You alive. get the instinct. You, you bought Deckham. You know it's instinctual. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> like, that, that, like as he catches it, he's like not faced. Like, uh, what's up? She's a bit twitchy. I will point out, Elliot. At the same time, when you watched him snap his hand out, it did seem to be like some kind of weird dark sand moving. You also sense the undeath upon him. 
when you checked. Same with Poe, who's standing next to you. This realm is certainly a drenched with undead energy. Oh, right. Forgot about that. Uh, uh, Elias, uh, Seven, Poe, could you give the Hibba a bit of a radius? Their cores are made from undead energy. Oh, yeah, people had their problem. Seven just kind of nods. As you know, Seven was mixed with Wraith energy. Yes. That's why he can go through walls like they don't exist. Well, not as twitchy fingers as Kyle here. Yeah, to be uh, earlier, I was just saying that there's nothing to worry about from them that's just the power source. Also, you say that, but didn't you also just try to stab a Wraith that could... Or a lich that could have also ended us if we fucked with it. That was because it did wipe out an entire civilization. And almost wiped us out too in the process. Well, it fell into the abyss. I hope. Or at least that dark void. Here's hoping. Perry kind of leans big metal armored undead guy with skull face and lots of green, lots of tubes on a ship or spell jammer. Seven wasn't that the one that uh oh jeez. Again times that we had thing here. Uh Micronometer says about a century ago. Came through in Half wiped the battlefield. I don't know if that's Sounds a bad thing right. that we killed it. Wait. Same time that other thing appeared. How? Uh, oh, never mind. It's worse. It's probably just Rob the giant ass thing that's eating souls. Well. Our call an army came through. I don't know, did you see the mechanically enhanced undead ones? Which you remember seeing a few. Yes. Briefly. On the way here. Yeah, those are the remains of that army. From what we can tell, others have taken control. Wait. But how did we. How did it... You said it was here a century ago, but we just met it... Less than a day. It disappeared. I believe his name was... Fixius or something? Sounds about right. We didn't really stop to chat. Well, well I know... Anything. <laughs> Nothing really stood before it. Him swept from one side of the breach to the other is what they call it. Those that we've talked to. Most of the time we just sit here and keep everyone away. Yeah, occasionally I get out, find other people. Most of the time they're dying. <laughs> A lot of non-talkative ones, but the ones that really talkative, they're just... I don't even know what the fuck they're saying. I would mean the mumbly sense. ones with the pointing hats. Oh, there's a lot of them. Then there's some others with even pointier hats. And you don't want to see the ones with the double pointy hat. Those, 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 those ones scary. They got bombs. Big ones. Yay. Um... Do you at least have a direction where this Mecha Vampire no, Mecha God uh Warforged Vampire went? Or would he have left tracks considering? Let's see. 
Yeah, I saw some more horses with the gold armor in that that way they went that way. And, uh, that was before that. So judging from that he'd be Let me see, let me see, let me see. Castle, which way is the broken tree? Which one? Uh, the one that screamed a lot. Do that way. Okay, he's that way. All right. Well, I guess we'll rest up for a little bit and then... On, head on our way to go kill another vampire for like the 20th time. Well, can't say we're not getting practice. <sighs> not wrong, sadly. Well, that and we're probably gonna need the likes to kill. Uh, what's her name? Actually, it might be Taboo to say her name, but. Considering they're doing experiments on other vampire kind and other kin, I guess this is just warm ups until we fight the real deal shit. Alright, I'm just gonna take another nap. Unless we wanna head out right now. Well, it's up to you if you go need an hour. I saw Elias get slapped a few times, mainly heard it. Um, I could use just an hour just to rest a little bit. Yeah, I'm just gonna use this and uh, use the short rest to regain my channel divinity. Well, at least That's I'll get it. back in. Well, I mean, we could go in the rain. Rain sucks. Rain's full of mud. Not as bad as the next section. Seems like rain for, for 16 hours. So. One more hour and it should turn to blood. And blood. what happens when it starts raining blood? Four hours. After that? It'll either turn to snow. Or. 104 degrees weather. This oh, place is awful. Forward. He's not wrong. It does tend to go in. We had cycles of horrible. Does the blood rain do anything to those that are of the living? I would rather not find out. It hasn't affected any of us, but... That's what I'm worried about. We might want to take a little bit longer of a break until it passes then, hopefully. It'll either melt your skin off, or it will, uh... significantly shorten your lifetime. Alright, I guess we're waiting till the snow. If we get the snow. And let's, let's just hope it's not the glowing kind. There's... Oh, you mean someone pissed in it? No, not the yellow with black snow. The glowing snow. It turns green at night. Oh, great. Radioactive snow. Yeah, I was wondering if you know about radioactivity. There's a few crazy gnomes in Forwin that like to mess with it. It's not great. What is this radioactivity? Okay, so I'd like to roll me for a history. Kyle. Okay. Oh god. Oh. How to explain radioactive. <laughs> so, Elliot, imagine a fireball, but it will keep burning with the power of acid. And it will keep going and get hotter and hotter. Ah, uh, history, give me a minute. Uh, this is a three. Uh, yeah, that kind of makes sense. Kyle wasn't, like, super big into tech. She probably had, like, some of our other techs talk about it more than she would have. Yeah, that makes sense that Ellie wouldn't understand Kyle's explanation of it, because she doesn't understand it herself. 
Yep. And uh, Elliot will just simply add, could you explain it in the form of spells at... Radiant damage. Elliot, did, or not Elliot, Deckham, did you learn about nuclear or radiation and stuff after you came back or before? Probably after. I gotta say, Fizzlebang probably... I was like, Fizzlebang probably is trying to work on a nuke. Roll me a roll me a history at advantage and an investigation advantage. History. It does, investigation. Help, that, it does help that Jeebus and I have basically made characters it's that have like seventeen and twenty-two. It suddenly clicks, Deckham. The abyssal iron is uranium. Oh dear God! Ah. And there's a nuke sitting in a wall behind you. Oh no! So, boys, I have a question. If the explosion went off, why is that still there? The best I can understand, talking to any spatial rip. Anyone living? Being the Jordo the most known for having a number of holes in the universe, maybe the nuke told something true. Wait, wait, you wait. can roll me a history at advantage. Wait, okay. That's, that's a point at the yellow or fucking green going up. Why do you have that here? What is this nuke yeah. that I'm hearing? Twenty-one. About? Oh God. Deckham. Yeah. On Jordoba and your current year, the entire battlefield that you fought on doesn't exist. You've never been able to find it on a map. <laughs> Literally just wiped it out of existence. <laughs> oh. Elliot's oh. looking very confused and just adds... Would you mind explaining to those that came from a world that is not as advanced tech as you are? Have you ever uh, seen a fireball? I have seen sunburst and delayed fireball. Good, you've seen the big ones. Now take yes. those and think of the tip of a pen, right? Alright. Now, as you're thinking of the tip of a pin compared to your fist, that's about the comparison between what that is to the highest level of any kind of explosive spell you could think of. I'm surprised so we're you not are getting any. Oh, sorry, go ahead. So you're telling me that you have made a. I'm going to go out of a limb here. An artificer device that is equivalent to quite possibly the 12th or 13th tier level of powerful magic. Apparently, I reshaped a continent. If I might be more poetic about it, imagine a bright light that turns bright as day into dark because it is so bright it blots out the sun. How is that thing still so happening? hot that you are melted to nothing before the flames reach you? And such a gust of wind that the mightiest castle is strewn to the winds itself. That sounds like Greybeard is intent of having to lay fireball within the bag of holding letting it rest for a good I believe he said decade so is that not giving off any radiation radioactive fallout then as she's looking at Deckham I don't assume you have the gnomish counter or whatever the fuck they're called no I don't have a giggle counter on me <laughs> giggle counter <laughs> But this also doesn't explain this radioactivity you are speaking about. Imagine... Alright, so you know how acid burns, and it will keep burning on your skin? 
Yes. Imagine that, but you can never see the acid, and it'll constantly start pricking at your skin indefinitely while near the thing. Is it I'm more... Oh, you know how the sun can burn some people? Like a good number of vampires, yes. But yet there's no flame. The sun emits a certain amount of radiation. Light itself could be considered radiation. The amount of radiation coming off of that is... weirdly negligible. I believe it's in a temporal plane. Ellie looks at his uh, hands. And yet, I am not burning at the moment. No, I don't believe it actually is dangerous at this range. Stick a hand in it might be different. Thomas thought I did that. Lost the whole arm. Oh, well, now he's, uh. I believe the term is decommissioned. There was not really any big loss. It's too bad we couldn't save the legs. I mean, as fucked as this is a question to ask, could we repurpose, uh, repurpose the core and just throw it at the roamer in order to maybe do some damage to it? Two theories on that. One, everything works just as planned. It explodes every, and it dies. Two, it consumes it, uses it for a power source, and it becomes the most powerful being to ever exist. Ah, this is why. Harry just kind of nods, like, "Yeah, that, that's basically the two that he came up with." <laughs> is there a way to rig it? I believe that's the term you have gnomes say when you want it to certainly explode. Assuming what they're saying is true, I'm imagining. Elliot, that it's a giant, um, infinite mouth that'll keep feeding on energy, so even if you rig it to explode, it might just siphon all the energy out before it does, if I'm understanding what Elliot, uh, Deckham's saying. The other problem, this Terry kind of steps up, so is that, uh, if it ripped a hole in one universe, it's a question of could it rip a hole in another. And being what we've heard in rumor about this place, that seems really dangerous. Yeah, that's what I'm also pointing out. I am in the mindset of should we care, considering the other realms that we have been to. Well, Mr. Rex decided that it was too dangerous to do it. I believe from rumor he tried doing something similar to mess Mr. with the barriers, Mr. as he called them. Mr. Rex? Oh, right. Husband. Uh, husband. Husband Rex. Oh. Wait. Oh, oh uh. Would I know someone care to explain to, to the ill-informed? Aslan Rex, a sorcerer from my world that apparently found his way here and became a lich. Alright, so if a lich doesn't want to deal with a nuke, I think we don't touch it. No, but from what I believe Summer, or the late Summer, had explained to me, as well as some of the other members of her family, Aslan had attempted some sort of ritual and destroyed himself. You think he used that, or maybe something comparable, and destroyed himself with it? No, but I suspect what everyone is referring to was that, and from my own memories of history with Aslan Rex from my world, he was a type to perform Scorch Earth policy and be damned with those that come after. This Aslan Rex sounds like the general. Well, 
I don't know much of what happened to him after until I got here. But in my home world in Oarth, he was a ruthless human warlord that even killed his own son. He'll look to his old unit. I don't think the general had. <sighs> well, simply put, he no. committed war crimes that not only costed the lives of many of his enemies, but also his followers and allies. Gestures around the room. As well as the land itself. I reshaped a continent. I think you're misunderstanding about reshaping one. You just put a whole extra continent in here, if I'm understanding it correctly. Yes, the point I'm getting to is that so was that summer and snow mentioned something about Aslan Rex performing again something to put a hole in this place to escape and he destroyed himself instead please tell me at least there's some room in here as Kyle's just kind of looking around through like different military ration boxes I'm assuming yeah there's a lot of old rations sea rats things like that <laughs> oh great is there any booze because I would imagine there's probably boost. a shit ton of morphine though no I'm not drinking morphine I'm not gonna kill myself did you uh, see the message, Doug? Oh, shit. Oh. Uh, so, uh, in typical type of fashion, I, he, even though he knows that this is an internal spell, he says this out loud. Oh, hello! We are in the breach. Light issue. Need a few days, possibly a week. Or pass. Uh, she probably gets just the tail end of that hey guy. Snowy just sent me. Oh fuck. What did the message contain? Uh, where the fuck are you? Oh, um, I figured you would ask that. Volga, you fast. It was very frantic and annoyed. By the way. <laughs> oh shit. They're still probably upset about everything that happened. Because <laughs> we got them going. I suppose if we are to use her use of profanity, it would be that we fucking killed the other vampire lord again with help we? of. <laughs> I'm joking. She says that she's laying down or like leaning back against the wall. Elliot just has like the most deadpan look on, on his face towards Kyle. She just literally one tapped the man while everyone else is running while well, dealing with all the other bullshit. But yes. yes. And then just adds, and his domain is now destroyed, which freed the souls of summer and autumn. That's what you get back after a few moments. Check him. <laughs> get that away from me. Don't... Why does it feel like fucking snowy sendings are just like the speakerphones left on? Most likely. Deku, uh, uh, he has no idea if she'll actually be able to hear it, but they're at rest. Everything's been dealt with. We tried our best. Oh, 
wait, fuck, I forgot technically since the mental link is up, I would have heard that too. We're in a bunker somewhere in the breach. There's no idea telling us where. You get the impression she went unconscious at the end. <laughs> yeah. But he was really hoping the, uh, there at rest will get through to her. Elliot also just kind of realized something. He says out loud, <laughs> if the roaming creature abomination is the Iron Witch <clears throat> that we encountered in the spell jammer. I suspect it may still remember us. Well, I don't believe it's exactly him. It's possibly a creation of his. Like an avatar? I hope it's still an avatar. Well, it was more of you to say. Assault would usually be the first thing in or the last thing. Or anything he couldn't outswarm. Get a beer, be real soon. Quick, I'll be right back. Always the undead bullshit. Um, I'm curious as she's kind of looking at. Have, I don't even know. She'll pull out the unwieldy knife. Have any of you ever seen something like this before? A knife? Well, okay. I'll take that as a no. I'm just kind of like, you can sense the sarcasm on Bo as he like, kind of holds his hands up. There is a lot of knives. Well, this is a little bit different because most people that try to wield it, you'll cut themselves nine times out of ten or it does some magic bullshit. So, I don't know if where Deckham's from, they had some weird magic knives. Weird magic what? I'm referring so to this as she pulls out the kitchen toy. knife. Get that thing away from me. Looks like a knife. It, it smells, smells like a knife. knife. See? I'm telling you, Deckham, it's just a knife. But as it punched a hole through a vampire man and ripped out his heart in one tap. But it's just a knife. Oh, is this like one of your knives? No, it's literally the end will be. Yeah, I don't. Technically... No. Oh. I think Poe already looked at it and just said just a knife. So. Vernal's just sitting there, like, looking at it, like, very closely and, like, twitchy. Does, does it taste like a knife? I didn't have a chance to taste it, and I don't want anyone to. And she's just slowly putting it back in her bag. Does it, does it feel like a knife? No. From what I've heard... Deckham and the one chef that got cut by it. It does. Let us meet our criteria for being a knife. I mean, from my understanding, the knife, like I said, punched through a vampire lord in just one swing, went, cleaved most of his body in twain, and punched a hole through his heart. Sounds like a good knife. Oh, it really is. Deckham hates it for whatever reason. I hate that I rolled like three nat twenties to hold this fucking thing, and it now just lives with me. <laughs> I'm just waiting for like some horrible reveal of what that knife's identity is. I'm I'm willing to bet it's either a champion of a dark lord or was wielded by a dark lord at one point. I'm more I'm more worried that it might be uh, wielded from your old uh, body sculpture. I could see that. I could see that too, actually, which worries me. Just Strahd's hmm? butter knife. Yeah, it's Strahd's butter knife that he used while he was uh, lamenting about his one love that can never be. And now it's cursed to only murder and have his passion mixed with it. Anyway. Oh, now you mentioned Strahd, I mean, that's going to be next session, but. Um... <laughs> Kyle's going to want to murder him, you know that, right? Strahd von Robo, bitch. <laughs> I mean, this is slowly becoming Strahd, Curse of Strahd, War, uh, Warframe edition, or uh, fucking Warhammer, Warhammer edition. 
Yeah. <laughs> Can't say that word. It's copyrighted. Yeah, it has. All right, so. A long rest to date. And in the morning, we'll go vampire hunting. And for the first time during vampire hunting, I'm the one who's supposed to be the most nervous. Yes, I am trying to still wrap my head around the fact that there is a mechanical vampire. Yes, and remember, when we're fighting... I don't like that part. Body and headshots only. We need the legs as fully intact as possible. Got it. Cut straight through the chest and make sure its mechanical heart goes. Um, actually, question. If I rip out a Warforged heart, is it going to explode on me? Possibly. All right, we go for the head. I was going to ask if I could just cut just a bit above the waist. That would be perfect, right, uh, Terry? I'm going to say the most of the spine left intact better. All right, guess we're just going for the head. All right, front shots. Uh, well, here's a weird thing. Can Warforges just be overloaded with electricity? At least some of the older models. Older models, yes, but depending on what they're made out of. Possibly. I don't believe I could overload Seven or Poe. They have different types of energies. I mean, if you're still running the... I'm assuming... Well, I'm guessing you probably don't have an Abyss Core now. Considering no, that. it's right there. And he points at the wall. <laughs> Yeah. Mine is this. Oh, Terry! Now that you're here. Could you have a what's look up? over for me? A, a look over what, sir? Uh, his, his uh, face plate will open to expose the, uh... The gem bomb battery. I still hate <laughs> Well, looks like your dragon killer call looks fine, sir. The fucking what? Dragon core? Dragon no. killer oh. core. Yes. That's what I was built for. Yes, he was a command unit and he was one of the best. They gave him a lot of uh, experimental weaponry, sir. Yes. Well, it has seemed to malfunction, and he'll just, like, hold out his hand and cast Shocking Grasp. Are you sure that's not from the rework of your... Well, everything, so... Well, it is quite possible that the connections were made incorrectly instead of a melee unit. I have now turned into an arcane unit, but we didn't have any arcane units. We are pure... We were a purely physical force. But in the advancements in 300 years, they seem to rely more and more on magic than physical capabilities. I just wanted you to ensure to my friends that I'm not going to randomly explode. Because they seem quite nervous about that. Well, all right, open the blade, sir. Like, there was some sort of risk of you exploding. The guy asked me that for three times in a row. This is more or less the first time I noticed it or realizing that this was not a joke. Uh, I, I know it's rather problem, but, uh, if you'll just open the plate, sir. So. Oh, he did. That was the... Ah, you guys missed another sound effect I made. Oh, uh, damn sorry. it. Uh, I just hear... Imagine hearing a... Uh, doo -doo. We uh, just don't hear it. Yeah. I don't know why it cuts me out, but you guys can make all the sound effects you want. It might also just be, like, a mic thing, because I'm using a headset, so it's easier to, like, pick yeah, up when I'm Yeah, I mean, sound. It's, a, it's a Blue Yeti, so it's probably, like, thinking the sound effects are, like, just background wind oh, yeah, or something. Oh, yeah, Blue Yeti yeah. is kind of a risk for sound getting rid of stuff like that. 
Okay, the vents look good. Um, I don't know what that is, but it is staring at me. Oh, that's the ocular unit that I got to give myself dog vision. I was talking about the giant sphere in your chest. What? The uh, drive that you got from the spell jammer. Oh, right, yes. Don't worry about him. He is necessary for the plan. I'm surprised he hasn't talked much. Oh, oh you he hear inside your head. You, you see on your screen inside your uh, vision. Deta er, basically just says, being detached from the system, my vocal system is no longer intact. Uh, quite unfortunate. I mean, I'm not entirely sure about his house, it does look a little weak. And I have no idea who Gretch is. Uh, that is a... Uh... Let's not talk about him. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, needless to say that, uh, outside of that, um... I actually think you could handle exploding a couple of times and be perfectly fine. Already tested. All right. Considering okay. I don't really understand half of these wires anymore because I haven't seen this design ever. Yes, so. Terry, as soon uh, as we get the entire unit off of this plane of existence, I must introduce you to Mr. K. You're telling me that this advanced? And she's just an apprentice. But she he's did create the... At, he's looking at the things that have been changing when you've been injured or things like that. Oh! No, those have been added automatically? Have you all been getting updates without, you know, the update feed coming through? Please tell me it's not just me. They all kind of look at each other a little bit for a moment uneasily. Well, that was something. I all have a vague idea. memory of something back before the explosion. I'm going to say two words to you. The prototype. They all stare at you silently. Even seven. Even seven? <laughs> well, it sounds like that's turning some gears. Wait, 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 wait. Pretty one, right? Looks at everybody else. Him? I know, no, where all her magic went. <laughs> the female designed Warforged with the wings. Oh. Tell us what those are. I thought she had a bunch of limbs, which are arms, pretty arms. Very pretty. Um, as Deckham, as Deckham's saying this, when he was going nuts and I tried to reach into his mind, like, this was way back, do I remember seeing an image of this person? Because I remember it was Sabic when I tried to do it before. I don't think you were able to see her. Okay. Roll me, roll me a d100. All I remember was a static and was like, nope, don't reach into Deckham's head when he's going insane. Oh, that's a d20. No, hold on, that's my bad. If I roll an 8 on that, I'm good. I mean, you well, got, you got the other together. half. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. You got the 92. You know, I'm going with it. You actually have a flash of something that you would call. Deckham? Yes? 
So remember before how I told you when we were, you almost killed a shopkeeper? Not really. <sighs> well, either way. I'm tired of having a little fuzzy. When you were doing that, I was trying to go through your head to see if I could reach to you, but instead I saw that person you were talking about. It's not clear exactly, but maybe her influence is definitely somewhere in your head, scrambled. As well as I've told you, I've not really seen much of her, just the one instance after I walked through the electrical field. Maybe she's watching over you more than you think, or... I don't know. Like I said, I just saw her when you were going haywire. I mean, Warforge... are not programmed with a divine being, but something has given us sentience. It was possibly her. It's still quite hard to tell. Oh, she would. Um, I guess I just get like a very, I don't get any like details. It's just basic image of mech lady with wings or mechanical wings, Moogle. Like very basic. Like I got choked like missing, 24. Like, the middle, missing like the stomach and such and the like, yeah, skin yeah. on the head. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it's basically, I just got like a 24p image that was loading very slowly because Deccan was apparently running on dial up at one moment. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, like I said, I want to try to get some rest before and hopefully avoid this blood rain and then go hunt a mecha vampire. But you do watch as Vernal kind of like skitters because he doesn't really fully stand up. <laughs> okay. Over to a wall. Yeah, it's very pretty. Straw, straw, concrete. As he, like, moves towards a wall. Yeah, Ellie just leans his back to the side of the wall and just takes a quick okay. little rest. I kind of look what he's looking for, because I'm assuming he's motioning us. Trying to find the better image of it, too. <laughs> That's the worst part. I, I can imagine, like... Yeah, I'm guessing it's not the one that I have. I'm going to tell you no right off the bat, so... Let me drag and drop this. It's because I got a token for it. Instead, I can't find the actual image of it. This is further down. I can't wait to fight Strawn von Mekovic. Oh, there it is. Ah, yes, that's the one. Ignore the name on here. I usually do. I found it. Not, not the artist's name. The artist is phenomenal. Oh dear lord. Well, that's different. Very pretty. Very pretty. That, that is, uh. That's not what I saw. Smash. <laughs> Smash or pass. Pass. And it, it, it's it's detailed, but it's also like a crude drawing of like charcoal and oil and paint. <laughs> oh. Looks almost spider-like. That's his... from my memory, not what I saw. I don't know. She gave me my name. Never found hers. You watch as the others are just kind of looking. Deckham is a war for, or you can get that, like, concerned, like, uh, 
He's doing that thing again. Now, Vernal. Yeah, how are you? What's up? What you need, Al? Don't call me that. Is it made for a past life I don't want to recreate? I'm just wondering if you've ever come in contact with anything infernal or abyssal. Do you know what those are? with horns, right? Yes. No. Well, wait. What was that one I poked? Oh, yeah, I see that. Yeah. 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 Elliot, you just get a mental. Keep an eye on him. Very well. Or possibly muted, my friend. Which I was. <laughs> uh, yeah, Elliot, was. Elliot just replies mentally, very well. Is there anything that's cause of concern? Sometimes she tells me where the best scrap is. Not <gasps> sure if this man has made a contract with something evil. But it's definitely not the same entity that had contacted me in the past. Or at least I don't believe it is. I will keep vigilance. Thank you, my friend. But he is our best chance to find some legs for Castle. Now, my friends, I believe we should rest. If you would allow, try to go outside with Arnie and Castle. And I see no reason for you not to. Just make sure the blood rain doesn't do anything weird with your gears and all that. Well, it seems to not affect our friend, my mechanical friends, so it should not affect me. Alright, stay safe and all that. He'll just take up another post at the boys. I'll step a little more further into the area, just to not have any visual line of sight of the incoming blood rain. We sit in quiet silence. <laughs> hey, yeah, I don't really have much else to do right now. Yeah, neither do I really. Cause Castle will talk, but it's mostly like reminiscing. Yeah, no, we'll, I mean, you probably just hear the odd watch the conversation of uh, what's been going on here and where uh, where Dakum has been. I suppose if anything, Elliot will ask Zamar through the mental link if uh, it's still up from Kyle and just. It should be. It's seven hours, so I'm not gonna like cancel that. Yeah, but also with Kyle as well. Just so, what do you all think of this? All right, let me let me put this easy for you. Vampire needs to die. 
Any other questions? Beyond that. Well, um, I think the long and the short of it, we don't really have a choice but to... I mean, where else are we going to be going? Let's think no, of this way. There's no real other option for us at this point. Think of it this way. At the very least, if we're able to save these people, we do have a crew that we could at least trust, unless outside of that one. Mentally kind of like motions towards Vernal. But it gives us a leg up in a place that we really don't have one in. I am concerned over the fact that at this moment we have two domains or realms that we have just <laughs> ensured its destruction. I mean, realistically, it's not our fault or we wouldn't have known what we had done. So I don't necessarily take blame for something that we didn't know the outcome of. I am not pointing accusations or blame here, Kaya. I am feeling a sense of forced coincidence, if one were to call it fate dark one at that. Well, either way, at the very least, maybe we can right some of the wrongs that happened here. I can't help but feel like some sinister will is pushing us along its own agenda. Captured puppet uh, puppets. Don't you think it was I'm a bit too convenient that there is a vampiric war forge in this area that just happens to have the legs that Castle needs, as well as the fact that at least from the existence of that roamer this party have managed to survive an encounter with it it's not that I doubt their ability but if you look back at what we've encountered even in my particular case with the island of Cicero and the two fallen realms of Morun and Spelljammer and the events. I understand there. I think regardless, it seems that Duckham is also at least somewhat apprehensive. If something is nefariously happening, I don't know if we will get too far into their master plan before we catch on to what's going on. Plus, worst comes to worst, or something that could be a miss, is that perhaps maybe that machine god that Deckham was talking about might be running the show, so to speak, or protecting them, which can be good or bad. I certainly hope so. Do not wish any tragedy to fall upon any of you, as I do see you as friends, despite our differences, Kaya. I mean, I prefer the word work associates, but I understand where you're coming from at the very least. <laughs> and don't take that the wrong way, it's just... I no. understand, but again to what I'm trying to get to is that this realm or reality plane of existence that we're in if I'm mistaken which I hope I am 
it seems to feed on tra tragedy and despair. And the way it does that is that it builds up a scenario for it to happen. I mean, if we're also going to look at everything we know, technically speaking, Deckham forced this situation here. It wasn't handcrafted. If anything, it was just someone punched a hole through and just said, here you go. But did any of you not notice that when Deckham asked that particular question of how they survived, they didn't quite answer his question. A bit, but I just generally assumed people have ways of survival that I'm not particularly aware of, considering what these things are. Which... I, I just... I feel like there's just a lot of stuff and technology that I simply just don't understand. They could explain to you about radioactivity all day, and you may get it, but I still have no idea what they are talking about. That's if they survive somehow, I can only assume it's due to this archaic technology I don't know of. I suppose I am still bothered by the events of the domain where we encountered Summer and I just hope that our new allies here are not also trapped in limbo, as in their souls. Yes, we'll see the end result once we finish up with this. I mean, hell, once we kill that mech vampire, then we'll see if they are. Because if they can't leave, then they probably are going to be fighting an unending war. Hence why me reaching out an olive branch for them to join my crew was kind of a double-edged sword to see if they knew if they could leave or not. That is kind of you. Well, it also may be kind, but it also created an idea of if they were aware of their current situation, if they could leave, then maybe they can, maybe they can't. We don't know. I suppose we'll find out with time. Either way, I'm pretty sure Deckham's going to keep getting his ear talked off by that one out there, and I'm just gonna take a nice break and hopefully I don't have to deal with this blood rain bullshit. I suppose it's only fair and proper. They do need time to catch up. And Elliot just leans back against the wall and just watches out the window or if there's any viewing areas. There are, there are arrow slits, cut basically. Hmm. These lighter areas. <laughs> yeah, if anything, he's just... He is curious, but he's also quite bothered by the idea of rain of blood. No, we're thinking of rain of shield. Sorry. I'll put it this way. After a while. It's already dark, but... Deckham, you notice it get considerably darker as the rain begins to thicken. Turning black in this dim light. Red by whatever light you can see by. And then you'll be in seeing flashes in the sky. You'll be in hearing screams and 
war cries rising up around you. Silhouettes and images on the horizon moving. The battle frenzied beyond what you had seen already. Every now and then, Oni lets loose around. But outside of that, everything kind of stays away. It's a cacophony, though. Even those inside can hear it, even in sleep. And after a few hours, it seems to end. And the skies lighten. And that yeah, is so where I was wondering we... how you got your brown tinge from. <laughs> and that is where we will call it for tonight. Does anybody have any last minute things? I'm surprised nobody called me out for, uh, I'm surprised nobody called me out for calling uh, nuclear technology archaic. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense in this say, world. I, it, <laughs> we don't know if we're in the future or the past, okay? You could yeah, came so. some post-apocalyptic wasteland. We don't know. <laughs> at, at this point, I think it's better just assume nuclear energy is chaotic in nature, because most artificers <laughs> are probably the only ones that would mess with nuclear. That's why I kind of said gnomes. Let, let's be honest. If Oro is still here, he would definitely call it archaic. Yeah, I was going to say, like, <laughs> it just makes sense that at least from a perspective of non-urban fantasy games, which most of them, or us, or backwards, like um, some people come from, even nuclear would just be archaic in nature from our perspectives. Yeah, last I remember, at least with OR for uh, Capital of Greyhawk, the most advanced thing they had was the freaking cannons, flintlock pistol, and um, the uh, surprised they don't the machine gun uh, or rapid fire crossbow because the gnomes decided to try to make something that could kill faster. I'm surprised they don't have alchemist fire, but I guess that's just, they, I'm just so used to it. They have it, but there, 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 was, there was more uh, fatalities on the same side than it was on the enemies. Yeah, that makes sense. Then. Hence why, okay. yeah, the last I was gonna say is like when Ellie made that comment about dragons because he's more used to seeing a dragon flying over overhead. It's so funny because like I've, most of this party you see the dragon, Kyle's like, "What the fuck's a dragon?" <laughs> yeah, nuclear radioactivity. It's like, yeah, I know that shit. See that every other Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> then uh, I am the DM for this evening, Goth Moogle. Thank you for joining us. I'm going to go ahead and hand it over to Mariner, who was the DM for last night. Hello. I am Transpace, or I am Mariner. You can find me at Transpace Mariner on Twitch and DM Mariner on Twitter. Uh, yeah. Um, currently our, the uh, prison our party was in got raided by sheep, and then some of them were just enjoying their nice star knucks and that kind of got ruined and we'll kind of see where it picks up from there because it's definitely not going to be good but we'll kind of see as it goes next Sunday and I guess I'll throw it to this Sunday's game uh, Miser Hello everyone, I play as the somewhat uh, overly stoic and borderline bland Elliot of Sea of Sorrows. I'm also the DM for Into the Wildlands. You can find my content on both YouTube and Twitch with the name handler of Miser Mark. And I do apologize. I think the caffeine is finally out of my system and I'm slowly going down. So I will hand over to Jason. Hello! It's Sir Free For All. <clears throat> uh, you can find me everywhere as Sir Free For All on YouTube. I've been streaming and uploading videos weekly. 
um, more action RPG stuff and less D&D related, but you can find me there, and I will throw it to Jeebus. Has Jeebus talked yet? What the Jeebus has not talked yet. Hey everybody, I am Jeebus Adigas on Twitter and YouTube. You can find all of our D&D content. So that is every Sunday, Monday, and now also uh, every Thursday, I am in a campaign with a different group. Uh, Jason, that is uh, Rick is DMing. Ooh. It's okay, Jeebus hates us, we know. Uh, yeah, so, uh, you can find all of our content there at, uh, Jeebus and Dingus and Twitter and YouTube.com. Well, we want to take us out of here? Yep, so that's, uh, that's it. Thanks for joining us again. Oh.